Hi, my name is Elisa Redshaw and I own Scrapbook Fantasies in Gladstone, Queensland. This scrap along video was originally recorded live at the Scrapbook Fantasies Facebook page. If you would like to watch it live and see all of the live comments as discussed in the video, I have put a link in the description below. Enjoy and have a wonderfully creative day. Thank you. Oh, hi Laura, Jason, Robin. Oh, and there's a cat on the screen door on the side of the studio. I'll go and get her. Good gracious me, cat. I think that's a missy kitten. It'll be missy. Chase some bugs. You don't want a missy kitten. Leave it in San Pet. She is cute, even with her gammy eye. Missy. She just invited him to come chase bugs with her. <laughs> okay. So, hello, Michelle and Cheryl. Hey, Jace, Renee, Debbie, um, Diane. Hi, Sandra. Just dropping in to say hi. AFL Grand Final. Yeah, it is so tonight. So, it won't be on tonight. We'll watch later. Okay. Hi Jacqueline, Amanda, Fiona. You say hello, Missy. You put Missy under? You gonna say hello? Look, Missy's saying hello. Missy's claimed to fame is she got fat bellies, she can't get through the pool fence. <laughs> For a little cat, she's... She's rotundy. She's pretty rotundous. <laughs> hello. Hey Diane, Debbie, Catherine, Nanny Di. Hey Rosemary, Leslie. Um, I'm gonna say my head's not great. Because the doof doof that we were listening to last night during class. It's still going. Across the road. It's still going. So it went all the way through the night. When we left at 8.15 this morning to go to work, it was still going. And it's still going. And it's still going. And it's still going. Oh, Craft Alive's here. Hello. Hello. You haven't hashtagged them yet. Hi, guys. No. We haven't hashtagged in Craft Alive yet. No. Quentin's just, you know, getting kittens out of the place. And now Amelia wants something. She wants him to check if she's had enough dinner. So this is what we did last night. Last night's exploding box. Um, I have seen some really, really awesome exploding boxes shared today. Um, I haven't commented on them. I'm very sorry. Um, I have had a nap this afternoon. I've had lots of Panadol today to try and ease my sore head because um, sleep deprivation is a form of torture. Oh. Hi, yes. Elizabeth. Well, we've got you drugged up at the moment. Yeah, really. Really, really, they went all night and then all morning. Huh, where was I? All day. I'm going to share the class. So when I had a lay down, Quentin actually um, turned on the Harry Potter movie very low to try and, and the air conditioner to try and drown out the music. Oh, they've just turned it up a bit. So this is, I'm using this Christmas from Lemoncraft. You better tag Lemoncraft in Quentin. Oh, yeah, I've got to tag Marge in. Sorry. I, I tagged Lemoncraft. Um, no, I've got to watch this as me. How do I watch this as me? Up the top, drop the box. Yep, no, I'm not, I'm not, um, oh crap. I'm not on a, um, iPad. Oh I'm on an iPad. So. It's. No. I'm just trying to get it to. Um, let me. Can you just try and tag margin? Yeah. Worst case scenario, I'm going to send a message a message when I get my internet back. Here we go. No. It's 
not letting you tag Margin. We're not friends yet. Okay. I'll see if I can get her on Messenger. Mm. Oh, yeah, I bugger all right, um, Fiona. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Beryl. Hi. Um, I didn't ring the police last night because I wanted the other neighbours to take responsibility and ring the police for a change instead of it always being us. Hi, Liz. Tracy. Oh, and the shared boxes friends. are really yeah, awesome. Hi, Jenny and Linda. Cherie. Mingani Dai. Mary. Marie. Janice. Meredith. Hey, Diana. Hi, Fiona. So, yes, I'm using... Lemon craft this Christmas. Okay. I have a piece of number four that I've sort of cut. And I started cutting the middles out of little birds. I'll cut some a bow and some cookies. I, I some star cookies. I thought I might try and at least appear to have made an attempt to get started. Hi Deborah. So yeah. You know. It is what it is. Right. Now, this is Kaiser Craft Craft. That comes with this horrid label. Look, really. I think this one's the least of our worries. We use this one for the lid. For all doors, we'll cut. I'll cut the lid. So. I'm doing the same measurements as last time, last night. So our lid is, we're going to cut our lid first. Our lid is five and a half inches by five and a half inches. And if you've got a Kaiser Craft trimmer, it's right on the edge here. And I'm just using Craft for my base tonight. So five and a half by five and a half. Craft is a little stiffer, or it's a bit of a different critter. Normal cardstock behaves differently. So five and a half by five and a half. And then let's cut out. I'm going to keep this in so I can have a border to cover that up. I'm going to cover that sticker. So let's cut an 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Now we had a few people that had issues. Where are you, Marge is here. Oh, Marge, woohoo! <laughs> you made it. Hey, Maribeth. Evelyn. Hello, everyone. So we had a few people last night that were having fit issues, like slight fit issues, right? So if you're having slight fitting issues, what you can do is when you cut your 11 and a half by 11 and a half, just cut it like a millimetre short of the 11 and a half. Not too short because these things grow. Okay. So I'm just going to do it a millimetre short. So 11 and a half inches. Don't chuck these bits out by 11 and a half inches. So that's the second piece of craft, obviously. Yeah. Oh no, I've gone. That's okay. I'll cover it. So I'm going to get my scoreboard out. And I'm going to score four inches in from each side, right? Score and turn. So score four inches in from the left hand side on each side. If you don't have a scoreboard, just mark it and score it. If you don't have a bone folder or scorer, use the back edge of a bread and butter knife. Not the front edge, the back edge. Rightio. Then on our lid, I'm going to do the same, but an inch in. So an inch in. I'm 
I'm going to sort of breeze through this a little at this point in time because this is very similar to last night. Radio. How's everyone going? The measurements were way out. I know. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Laura. Um, I still haven't done that second Facebook post yet. Hi, Nikki. It was cool. Hell. Hi, Cheryl. Um, um, it was cool how um, people were able to share spiding boxes they'd made ages ago. Oh, um, hi, Miroslava. Uh, I don't think I said that right. That was really wrong of me. I'm just saying hello. Yeah, I'm not seeing that one. Quentin doesn't see everything I see. No. And that's not because he's blinder than I am. Okay. So let's tackle our lid first. Fiona's birthday. Really? Are you? Marie's just put up happy birthday, Fiona. Really? Love making the box. I'm actually going to use it for a gift. Awesome. Hey, Sandy. Fiona, that's really sneaky. So, everyone, we have to sing right now. We have to say happy birthday, Fiona. That's really sneaky, Fiona. Fiona sent me flowers this week as a thank you, and she didn't even let me know it was her birthday. Could have sent her a birthday card. Yeah, maybe Quentin will make you. Maybe Quentin's making your birthday card, Fiona. <laughs> I've got a leaf at the front of the store. So I'm cutting from the <laughs> from the corner in to. The corner of the fold. So I'm just cutting in. We're going to make our lid first. We're doing lids first. So cutting in to the corner. Three. Hoping by the end of the class my head's not pounding. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just. Snipping. So the kids aren't watching the um, football final, they're watching Midsummer Murders. <laughs> and then yep. snipping in at this end. Yep. Okay. So turn and we'll do two at the other end. So tomorrow night I'm doing, um, tomorrow night it's going to be a graduation hat and somehow I'm going to make a tassel. Um, now, I thought I was doing blue, but I think I'm going to have to do red because I think I've I used all the blue. I thought you were doing blue. I thought I was doing blue. I'll have a look. I'll just... Well, maybe I might be doing blue. This is my um, grad hat bag. I've got red, I've got lots of white, a bit of black, I've got blue stars, but I really thought I had Macaulay blue left in here. I've got purple, mm, I'm going to have to look, I, I think I've got much Macaulay blue, but I use glitter card for my colour. I'm really convinced I had Macaulay blue. Which is this bright blue. Okay, so let's fold our folds and score them on our lid. Fold and score. I'm gonna get a piece of white paper so you can see what I'm doing because the craft and the craft mat don't really show up very well. So fold and I'm gonna do the same with my little corner bits. So this is craft cardstock. So you have to be a little bit more, um, yeah, you can't be as wishy-washy with craft cardstock. You really have to fold it and it run something. Yeah, you, you need to, yeah. 
little bit of because otherwise it's just gonna have rounded not nice sharp corners okay so let's go and stick these bits with some eventual magic now if you don't um oh gosh happy birthday fiona haha <laughs> Um, for tomorrow night, do we need a full piece of glitter card or can I part piece? Oh, part piece will probably work. Holy, I've missed some messages. Okay, I'm going back. I was off doing other things. So was... Quentin was filling in. Oh, so Beryl made her lid a sixteenth of an inch bigger, which worked for last night. So that's really awesome. Hi, Anna. Look at that, Fiona. Lots of happy birthdays. Midsummer's probably better. Yeah. That's one of the morons in the area with a dirt bike. I wouldn't be out on an unregistered dirt bike with this no time. headlight. With no headlight, probably no helmet. Temporary Australian. Oh my no brains to match. Nearly Back. watching football, said Sandy. Storm. You've always got storms at the rock. It is like drier than dry here. Hey, Tammy. For tomorrow night, do you need a full 12 o'clock? Yeah, that sounds nice. Part pieces will probably work, Sandra. We're just going to use it for the highlights. <laughs> One case. All right. I'm going to put up the link for crap. Bad storm at the moment. Oh, my God. You guys always get storms. Hello, Sandra. Well, it's really um, bad. Um, so spoiled, yes, Fiona. Hello, Karen, how are you? Um, well, you get Jason to send you a, 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 a what, what would you call Jason's present? Um, diabetes in a bag, diabetes in a bag, a bag of chocolates. I need that a pin, beautiful. I, I need a pin. This should have been, do you need a pin? I need a pin, I've lost my pin. Do you know I've the lost bad them. part? We've got the cutting desk at the, at the shop. No, 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 they're in the sewing table. You can get to the sewing table now that we've moved all the work crap out of the studio. I might be able to get some sewing done in all my free time. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, Jason said floods in Tumbera. Just, wow. Yeah. Just playing elevator music. La, 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 la. Only humidity and sweat and glass. Only humidity and sweat and glass. Okay, I've got a pin. So until my lovely husband makes me another video rig, <laughs> I've been oh, carting guess... it backwards and forwards to work. I just need a Although extra. I did a record a class, finish recording a class today. I haven't finished my seventh Craft Alive class. I, um, yeah, no, I, I was not in a good way. Um, and if you ever need to torch someone, torture someone, don't forget, sleep deprivation, best kind of torture. I reckon it's probably better than waterboarding. Um, I can honestly say my children never tortured me as much as what the neighbours that have always lived in this particular house near us. Gotta love doof doof. Remember it's the house where the, the, the person was, yeah, swapping boyfriends last time. <laughs> Very and the one morning. before had lots of visitors that stayed for Enough less time. than 30 seconds. Enough time to exchange cash. Yes, that was the one before. And lots of police patrols with the one before. The one, not the last one. You're making before. our area sound really bad here, I've got to say. Yeah, but she didn't stay very long because they didn't really belong in our area. It, you know, they didn't fit. I think she worked that out when she knocked on their door. The police made her come and apologise after a bit of a ruckus that they caused in the area. And she, um, I think she realised she didn't quite fit. We also hadn't noticed the ruckus. Oops, I forgot to put the link up. Sorry, peeps. Um... made a really nice sultana cake today for pitch in the group oh my gosh i didn't see that i missed that one i saw that you had breakfast at the um cafe that's changed hands down there now that breakfast looked pretty damn awesome um we're going to breakfast tomorrow yeah brunch 
We have new neighbours that you wouldn't hey, choose Heather. to have. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I get decent sleep tonight, Deborah. Yes. Um. Clinton, that link didn't work. We have new neighbours that you wouldn't choose to have. Yep. Yeah. It's only one house. The original owners of the house weren't the kind of neighbours you wanted either. Because yeah. he used to spray paint cars in their in their carport, and everyone used to get overspray on their car in the street. Yeah, on a windy that used day. To get over top of the fence. Sorry. Oh yeah, he used to have dac plants higher than the fence. That was the original <laughs> owner. We've had this house a really long time. Oh god, Meredith dog doesn't like the storms, and she was up all night with you. Oh no. At least the um, on the corner, she's gone away to see family and taken the baby. She yells a lot, but yeah, I can handle her yelling. Makes me feel good. She yells louder than I do. <laughs> My kids are really excited that they found someone that yells louder than their own mother. But that's You're not really doing much to sell Gladstone, I've got to tell you. Oh, oh, she's just having a rough time. She's got a little baby. Lazy husband. It's just not, not good. She only yells at him. I only yell at you. I did CPR three weeks ago because of them. Then panicked and had a COVID test. Oh my gosh, Fiona. Oh, Fiona. Deary me. Wowzers, shenowzers, that's uh, not terrified real. of the storm, so I was up most of the night holding him to stop him shaking. Oh, poor darling. Um, oh, it's supposed to get more rain. Oh, no. Yeah. We'd like some Hi, rain. Hi, Kirsty. 50k south of us got a good storm this afternoon, and we just got the humidity. Yeah. So. It'll rain soon enough. I stuck my lid and it's taken me nearly half an hour to stick a lid together. Well, you know. It's the lad's not getting paid by the box. <laughs> lad's not getting paid by the hour. I'm doing this a bit backwards. I'm just trying to trim it. It's really hard to trim it that way. My scissors are too big. Yes. I don't think even little scissors would get in there and trim that. So you can see I just tidied up with scissors. Okay, so we've got a lid. So with our base, I'm going to do it a little different tonight. So what we're going to do is we've got our crosshairs, right? So the one we're going to cut, we're only going to cut one on each side. We're going to cut this one. Not this one. We're going to cut... Oh, that was a coloured pencil. No, it's a lead pencil. So we're going to cut every... So we're going to cut this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we're not cutting the squares out. We're going to leave these as flaps to open up, right? I know I saw someone, I think Amanda shared one with lots of layers inside, but this is so that we have a little opening uppity bit. Does that make sense? Oh, we so should have borrowed what was shown to us at the shop today. So oh my gosh, you guys are in for a super awesome treat. So Jody has been using springtime tea party um, to get ready to do an album class series. So making a mini book and she is very, uh, that girl should have been an engineer. Yeah. Um, but her books are awesome and she's been testing the tolerance of the paper as the paper is a spine and it is a beautiful 
Um, yeah, so what we're going to have is a few videos. Um, she's never done a video before. She's not that kind of person. And um, so we're going to have a few videos. And then there'll be a kit. And then, you know, we'll have some instructions to download as well. It'll be in the group, that one. But that'll be a bit of a projecty project. So I'm going to get my eraser now. Well, apparently Joe's not up in three hours, but, you know, it'll yeah. probably take me three and a half weeks to get through step one. <laughs> yeah, because we all know how good Quentin is at following through on finishing his paper craft projects. So I'm going to rub out my pencil lines. And then I'm just going to finish my snips right to the corners. Now, we're doing this, and in theory, it's all good. It's all okay, right? In theory. But in practice, well, I've done it the wrong way. It's okay, to live. should be right. But in practice, I've done that on the wrong side. For me that's it's not the wrong side it's just i've done it on the wrong side for my silly brain about the two sides of craft let's just we had a discussion oh, about the two sides of paper last night and it got quiet so there may need to be some easing here okay in theory it's all just gonna go but it's not actually because these squares are bigger okay so we are going to just fold them across for the moment okay we do need to do a little bit more surgery before we get too excited okay Karen's just promoting the tigers and she's got to go because the football is getting interesting okay Gonna watch us during the Formula One. So oh, there you go, dear. You're um, more interesting than car racing, but the, the footballs may have hit the posts. Um, I have nothing to say <laughs> about. I have nothing to say about that. I'm sorry, but you've stumped me. Uh, I'm Alisa's just not a football fan. No, no. No. Do you know all I can say about football is we're a Cowboys family and if we watch our team play, they lose. We're a Cowboys family because my dad used to be a mad Broncos fan. Mad so Broncos we had to be the sport. opposite. So we had to be the opposite. We're not spiteful, honest. Okay. So just use your lines to line it up and make sure it's straight. Okay, so can anyone see the problem? Yeah. And you said they would never make one made several. Awesome. The mattress down. Oh no. Imagine we could have stormed hey, last Ronnie. night, we could have had no doof Well, they would have put out their fire as well. Yeah, they're trying to do smoke signals in their backyard this morning. Yep. Okay, so... Can you see? It's bigger. So what we need to do... Because you can't make a box. And have these bits bigger. So we do, we do need to cut these down. Right? So these need to be cut to three and a half inches. Now the way to cut them, radio. So we have to fold. Deborah is all over this. She said the corner pieces are bigger than the side pieces for the flaps. Yep. You okay, so you need to get your trimmer. You can't see 
what marking that this is going to, right? Where your fold is. You need to measure three and a half out from your fold, right? We know that. But you can't see what it is. So what we need to do is find our three and a half inch mark and come down here and make a mark. If you don't want to do that, don't do that. But it is this point here, but it's nice to have a mark because you need to know where it is. Okay, so that's our three and a half inch mark there. You need to make a mark where you're gonna cut, right? To do yourself a favor, you then need to come across just like a millimeter, right? So that when we fold it, Bugger me. Just bear with me. Oh, she willikers. What have I done? Oh, I know what I've done. I made my box smaller. Okay, I'm, I'm getting myself in a bit of a mess here. Because I made my box smaller, I need to come across more than the millimetre, okay? Remember how at the very start I made mine just slightly smaller than 11 by 11? I told you it would be incremental. So let's come across like 2 mil. So let's do halfway between 3.5 and, and 3 and a quarter. I do rub these lines off my trimmer sometimes. And Deborah said, remember the ruler and the cutter aren't the same measurements. <sighs> yes. Right. So, yeah. so you've just got to get it right for you. Okay, I've got that right. I'm happy with that now. So we do need to cut a tiny bit off these to make them fit. And to do that, you fold this one across and you fold and then you come across and I'm actually cutting mine so that it is three and three eighths wide here. I've made a mark down here so I can see it. See, because I made my 11 and a half inch square slightly smaller. Is Am I making sense or am I as clear as mud? Oh, I haven't typed a comment because I'm not quite sure. This size sure. square is only three and a half. Yeah, so everyone square. picked up that the flaps were larger than the other ones. Yeah, the flaps are bigger, so we're just going to trim this bit to fit inside there, but I'm going to make mine slightly smaller so I've got plenty of easing, right? We've got another ease to do. There you go. Remember your ruler and cutter aren't the same, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go around. We're all au okay with that, aren't we? Please tell me yes. Um, now I'm going to do a test drive. I can make it fit. Look at that. I have a craft box. He's been a smart ass here. Can you lay it fat to see where you made your initial cuts? cuts? Yes. Oh, I definitely can. Oh, I'm gonna get idea. something white. A piece of white cardstock. So that's what we end up with. Is everyone okay with that? Leave my second have a look. Mm. Okay. So you can see we had to trim this <coughs> so it would fit on there, and mine is shorter. 
but that's okay. I want it to be shorter. I need to cover that. I've got the sticker here. I'm going to cover that. Mary Green says she has a box with a lid. We have a lot box with a lid. Woohoo! Oh, good. Michelle Francis, Cheryl Parnell. Awesome. Yep. Okay, so when we go to stand it up, if you find that it's a bit hinky here, remember we were talking last night about if you found that you're, you know, you measured on one side of the line or the other, you could shave a little bit off. You may find that you need to, you may find it easier just to take a little tiny bit off this edge here. Like you may find that taking Sorry, where are we? That taking a tiny bit off this edge in here helps it at that point. Okay? Sandra says I And won. it just <laughs> depends on how you went. You remember when we cut through here with our trimmer, it depends on where you cut on the line, whether your cut is in the center, to the left or the to right of the score line, where it sits in the score line. And you know, it's like a quarter of a millimeter distance makes a difference. Because mm, it's the fold. It's, it's, it's a fold because it's, it's a fold. So you may find that you need to trim like, and it's going to be so tight. Just going to trim a tiny bit off just to show you what I mean. The distance that you may need to remove if you're finding that you're getting a bit of twisty twisty when you finish your box. It's the distance we're talking about is that. Like it's that that little tiny piece is the distance we're talking about but you can see that when we're finished we end up with this little tiny gap but that's only if you're finding that when you stand it up you've got a bit of twist on this page this inner page if it seems to want to twist want to twist not want to twist want to twist so now i've done one i have to do them all because you know we all know how obsessed I get about things. Obsessed. Things obsessed. Obsessed. And it's just a matter of taking the tiniest little curl off. I'm going to do it on the wall. Finish he printing. finished the paper rose today. Woohoo. And and we've already got another paper rose order on the way. Yeah, I'm excited. Just a little time consuming doing paper rose. Righty up. They are beautiful dyes, but I will say that. Yep, they're beautiful dyes. We love having them in our sort. So there we go. That's me. So if you're worried about that sort of yeah. Okay, let's get rid of that lid. So you did use one of them last night for the number one the top of the box. I did use one of them. So, this is paper number four. <laughs> no, not more stuff, says Deborah. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, God, I forgot to put the link in again. I'm not that good night. You know what? These little bits here, you know when you're making a little bird's, you know, you got a little picture of a bird? And you're putting a little bird on a on a project. These are the little bits that I use to make a little nest. Don't throw them out. We might use those. <laughs> where where is that pile of 
baby wipes that you have in the drawer they're hidden. Okay. So remembering that we've got four inch sides. So I've got this paper number four. I want to show you how I intend on using it. And So we've got four inch sides, right? Sorry, I was just, my head's a little foggy still from the torture. I was trying to work out what music would torture them. I was trying, trying to remember where we had um, opera CDs stashed. We do have opera CDs somewhere from back in the day. Okay. Either that or I can send Amelia over there with a the drum kit. So when we've got our lid on, we want to have a piece on here. So we need a two and three quarter inch by three and a quarter wide piece to cover the sides. And, oops, got a bit louder. So what I want to do is I want to cut an inch off the top of this paper number four. So we're just going to cut an inch off the top and we'll keep that for something and then I want to cut my two and three quarter inch piece from here so that when I cross cut it at three and a quarter not the most economical thing I've ever done but when we stick it on there the print is Planned. Do you know what I mean? Like it's got the the wood and the wreath and that going around, but you only get two out of a piece of paper. A bit silly, I know. So I've got one, two. So would you call that wooden holly? Is it holly or is it? Oh, wood and holly, and it's the top of paper number four. Like it's a border print. So let's cut a one inch piece off here because there was just too much timber for the sides of our box. So one inch piece off and then we're going to cut a two and three quarter inch I'm sorry Meredith put up Rob's going to have council in Sydney and play Barry Manilow along the beaches at night to stop the hoons hanging around at all our house. Barry Manilow? That's not a bad idea. I, it's actually like the kind of music my adult kids listen to, which we listen to as well. I, I don't mind the music, but we only really hear the bass. It's like beating through my brain. Um, well, I just wondered if I went through like heavy metal or classical or mm. six year old on a drum kit. I could set Amelia up on their front patio with a drum kit. We oh, do have waltz. a drum kit in the spare room. Oh, waltz music will slay them, says Cheryl. Yeah, well, I'm um, yeah. willing to try anything. Yeah. Um, but I think they might be too drunk and oblivious. Quentin has worked with one of them. Yeah, for a short period of time. He wasn't a sharp tool. For a very short period of time. Okay, so my edge distressor. Like, we played loud music in the car. We had um, Abba the other day. Dancing Queen Mary Actually, I could, I could actually whip out the Muriel's Wedding soundtrack CD. I reckon I could. 
I'm just stoked that a council come up with the idea of playing Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow is not bad in small doses. We listen to a big mix. I don't think those boys across the road are Metallica fans. We could whip out Metallica. Yeah. Just depends. Depends on what they're into. Elizabeth said it's very pretty. So I'm going to do a bit of distressing. I've got my go slow on tonight, haven't I? I haven't got very far. I haven't even barely made a box in an hour in 45 minutes. Okay. Then I have brown dye ink and a sponge dauber. I'm just going to put a tiny bit around the edges. You don't have to do this. See, these southern schools, they got to figure it out too. Schools did that sort of thing to get the kids back into the classroom. What? Play music? Yeah, I'll, I'll party every music. Mm. Um, they actually have music as alert up here, some of the schools. Mm. When there's a um, someone on premises that shouldn't be on premises, they have an alert and it's usually some sort of weird music. Rightio, let's get rid of the trimmer. really need to just stick something on the bees just so that I can say I've done something just you know I just need to say I've done something for the evening <laughs> I've got to have something to show for my efforts I'm gonna I'm gonna actually put them on flat like this. It is easier to put them on flat. The kids are being very quiet. Yeah. Just found Amelia's milk I gave her this afternoon still sitting on my desk. I think I'll tip that out. Yeah, I think that's that's a tip out moment. That's uh not not to keep that milk after this afternoon, cup of milk. So that tooting was over at the train lines. That means something or someone is on the train line. Over in the coal yard. We hear that a lot. Not as many coal train runnings at running at the moment. Oh, there he goes again. Not as many um coal trains running right now. Noticed. Look at that. Oh, upside down, Miss Jane. Bugger me. Really? Really, really. I stuck one upside down. What are you doing here to scribe? No swear words, dude. Don't need no 14 year old boyisms. Um, Danny said that you're working on autopilot. I am working on autopilot. Amelia um, has cleaned out the corner where over there and has nested in her chair because she's trying to get to her Lego box that I hid under the bean bags. So she's made a big nest in the bean bags on the chair. <laughs> so the lounge room's now a mess. 
pretty much looks like Sharknado just put Sharknado it just happened in our going lounge to room. Tomorrow. No, no, we're going to breakfast with Grandma. Right. Working on all over pilot, yep. Yeah. Hey Cheryl, Lindell, hey Karen. Yeah, um, I am a bit on autopilot. So, how are we going? We're all the right way now. Okay. So let's have a look. Now I just have to be really, I'm just going to cut out these little chooks, birds, wooden birds, because I want to use those. I don't want to, let's put them over here with my fussy cutting things. I don't want to accidentally hack that bit off and use it for something else. Right. My question is, why about wooden birds? Because oh, it's Christmassy stuff. In Poland. Okay. okay. For our little lid bits, lid edges, we're going to use the timber. So I actually want to cut this, and I should have done this earlier, I want to cut this, I'm going to make it a slightly smaller, smaller one than last night, I want to cut this down to 7 eighths of an inch, I know it's a ridiculous measurement. And then what I want to do is trim that because it moved. And then we're going to cut this at an eighth short of three inches, three and a half inches. So three and three eighths. You only get three out of a bit. So what we're going to do is we're actually off this piece. So we're just going to cut the three and three eighths, and then we're just going to trim it down. All we're doing is trimming like an eighth of an inch off it. And by doing that, let's just test drive them before we get too excited. Um, Meredith said, any news on more albums? No. Okay. No news. No news is good news, not. So, I've cut that too short. I don't know what I've done. I'm going to get my guillotine out. No, this guillotine is a different measurement to that one. So let's make this three quarters of an inch. No, not quite. I'm just going to cut another mill off. I just want to get it to be. Oh, at least the doof doof stop. Yeah. I just found the problem. One of my strips is shorter. Okay. Yep, I cut one of my strips too short. Radio. I cut one of my strips too short, that's why it looked wrong. So these are 7 eighths of an inch wide by 3 and 3 eighths long. They're just slightly smaller than the side, okay? I'm really sorry about that, but it was because I cut one of them that was 3 and a quarter inches long and I just kind of 
Yeah. Hasn't a bad day. I had a bit of a bad day on Tuesday, didn't I? One, two, three, four. Oh, now I've got five strips. One of these is not like the others. One of these is not like the others. Wasn't well, that a song? Yeah, it's on Sesame Street. No, I don't want the Apple sticker up your new phone. Where's your phone? You can show everyone your new phone. Where is it? I'll go grab it. I'll grab it. Uncle Stan and Auntie Robin were very, very kind and got him a new phone because Mum and Dad couldn't afford one. Because his phone was dying. There were a few days where starting the day on 100% power when he went to school, he didn't have enough power at the end of the day. And his phone state spends the day locked up. His phone didn't have enough power to um, text us at the end of the day. Robotics was cancelled. So. Or even turn on, as a matter of fact. Or turn on, yes, so. I don't know, oh, Diane says, I don't know how to keep all those measurements in your head. Um, I like numbers, but yeah, I don't know either. Marge says, amazes me too, and Deborah said, cool, and Sandra said, what's the measurements for the lid, please? Uh, so the lid's five and a half inches by five and a half inches. And then um, you're scoring an inch in from all four sides. So five and a half inches by five and a half inches. You need to type that in, Noah. This thing is how you're scribing. Hi. Your dad's organising. I'm coming back. Boss to uh, inches by five and a half inches. Five and a half inches. Do you know he could be typing? something no the paper oh oh so seven eighths of an inch by oh, three and three eighths seven eighths yep how about <laughs> i type and you go of an inch by three seven. and three eighths of an inch three and three no no that's seven and one eighth you've typed hang on out <laughs> that'll confuse things Here's your phone thing, dude. I know. Oh, that's just the box that it comes in. That's meant to go in the IT cupboard. Mm -hmm. no, well, we're definitely not doing seven and one eight. Of an inch. Hang on. So I really should technically match up the timber here with the timber there, right? The timber on the side of the lid with the timber for that particular side. But when the lid goes on and off a million times, it will not really matter but so, what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and make it so it could be matched if you really wanted it to seven eighths of an inch by three and what is it three eighths three and three eighths right three and three eighths ah, i don't know what that was for but i hope that helped. i cut one wrong Oh, okay. And then I measured against it. I thought they were all wrong, but one was wrong and I couldn't work it out. One was wrong. Only one was wrong. Okay. So let's do a test drive. Jackie's saying, thanks for trying, Noah. Ah. Jackie said, thank you. He's gone. Yes. My mum was saying how his piano playing is greatly improved, but she's not going to say he's gifted. <laughs> she's not <laughs> going to say he's gifted. Yeah, not after saying it to one other kid. Holy dooly. I don't need to practice now. I said I'm gifted. He was five. That was Milton, everybody. Okay. So now what I want to do is have a look at my papers. Oh crap. Right. 
these are the fussy cut sheets. So there's three fussy cut sheets, right? There's that one, which is number nine. That one's number seven, and this one's number eight. I'm thinking I might use number eight. I need something to cover this bit just here. I'm actually thinking I might cover this inner page here. Oh, nearly lost one of my cookies with this. Check us. But it's directional. Do we want to deal with a directional pattern on the inside of something? Yeah, pattern's got a special name, that's not what they call that. Tartan? Tartan, that's it. But it's directional. So you could actually put tape on these and then stick them to the back like like that and then cut them out and then you could cut them out because then when you turned it over your directional pattern would be perfect and i think that's what i'm going to do this is directional pattern and i want to cover these pieces here with my directional pattern but to do that I really need to, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. Because when you're making something like this and you want it to be, you want it to open up and the a pattern like that to look just right, you do need it to, and this is the easiest way to cover something like this with a directional pattern. Well, the easiest way I've found. So I put tape on each of the pieces. 36 mil tape. 36 mil tape. Oh, I love 36 mil tape. It is the guru of all tape. I played in the class the other day. She, she just thought I was joking all night. The 24 and 36 mil tape. Let's go this way. It's better this way. Probably need to go right to the edge, but I'm a little time poor, so I'm just going to do my best. Radio. So then what we do is we flip over a bit of paper and blow all our stuffs everywhere. Then what we're going to do is work out so we can fit on here. Barcodes at the bottom. Yeah, Remember the Lemon Craft go all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to line up the edge up here. edge at the top. Okay, so we've got one. So then let's do the next one. And see, they flip up. Alright, so you don't have to do the corner peely thing with the tape. No. Except for the flip card. go over slightly just slightly I didn't quite leave enough room for my side thought I did but we all know what thought do okay let's come over that far So tape does give you the ability to peel it up. I'm just going to say, tape gives you the opportunity that if something is wrong, you can peel it up. Glue on the other hand, when glue is glued, glue is glued. Yes. Glue is down, glue is down. 
Queensland, so I have a bug on my page. Right. Well, and the, the other great news is that the cane tape's coming back for it. It's not winter is here, it's summer is here. And, uh, yes, usually the um, council up here runs, what do they call it, toad hunting. But toad it's busting. Not, toad busting, it's not like golf clubs and cricket bats. Get too excited. It's humane. You get given a set of gloves each and you go out and you pick up cane toads and you put them in bags and then they freeze them. And they count them and they work out, you know, where they are and they map where they've been. When we were teenagers, the council used to pay you five cents a cane toad. Shit. Now I've gone cents. too far in the other direction. Are you off the edge? Yeah, I am off the edge. So, okay. We can fix it. I'm going to fix it. Just, yep. We can fix it. I should have just fixed it in the first place. So now I just need to kind of get them apart. Just rough cutting, okay? Bye, squirrel. Bye, squirrels in Australia, anyway. Do people have pet squirrels here? No, I think you're allowed to have squirrels. Right. Possums are kind of like squirrels. Okay, so now I'm going to, and this is going to be a bit of a bugger in a couple of spots. So, has anyone said anything about me stuffing it up? No, they're all being very quiet. Like. Yeah, because it's not the first time I've mucked it up either. Just so you know, Quentin. Okay. So when you cut down, this is the folded edge I'm cutting, right? So when you cut down the folded edge, be really, really careful not to cut the fold open because then it's no longer a fold <laughs> it becomes two bits of card <laughs> oops yeah and we all know that quentin's going to do better than me at that <laughs> uh, i would just make a discombobulated box yeah this card in an envelope i'm good at putting things in with envelopes and sticky things. maybe you need to make wendy a kit for her teacher gift <laughs> <laughs> hey, now we're talking. Mm. Cut the and Fiona's button. birthday card. Maybe in future people you'll get a birthday card a and it'll DIY, be a kit. DIY, do it yourself. Right. Birthday card. So, we're at this point. So this is where we come to the point where we're going to do... We're going to do looking in here, right? We're going to do looking at what we're doing. And we're just gonna do snipping to the middle. And then we're gonna do looking in here. Because we don't wanna snip the corner off, one of our little pagey things. And we're gonna do just. We're already mending stuff because I've mucked up. It's good that I make mistakes because then when I make mistakes, it means that you have an opportunity to see how to fix your mistakes if you ever make mistakes. But I don't think you guys would make as many mistakes as me. I'm just trying to get my comments back. Because my movie is frozen. There's too many people live streaming the football, obviously. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to come here. And we're just going to, so we're going to cut in the other direction. Just making sure we're not snipping the corner off things. So Fiona says she, she can't wait. Um, For what, her birthday card kit? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. 
Um, and he's telling me he's just about run out of freebies. I've, I've got to cut freebies. I've been giving people those badges that we got. Oh, well, he's been given. What have you been giving people? Oh, crackling campfire crackling enamel campfire, pins. Enameling pins. Yeah, yeah, we got extra enamel pins. We bought extra enamel pins so we could give them out. So we do try and get things, sort of. And I run out of my grassies. Yeah, grassies. Yeah, he's run out of his Lemoncraft goodies. Oh, we do have some others, but Lemoncraft gave us some other little goody things. But what we're going to do is we're going to make matching flare buttons with these other little goodies yeah, and make I'll little gift packs. And um, Deborah said that the headache uh, not helping. Tired and the headache not helping. Not tired and headache not helping. And that they're already partying over the road. We did have a suggestion from a friend today that we could just go over and put the hose on their fuse box and say to the cops it was on fire. And we were putting it out. <laughs> we were putting it out. Just don't know how far electricity travels back through water. I definitely wouldn't do that barefoot. Because <laughs> now I'm like, like the doof doof would fry me. That actually next door to that house used to live a high voltage electrician. Now, he wouldn't have tolerated. He was there when we had the, the spray painter guy in that house. He did not tolerate him because they both used to go over and give him a talk to. He was older than older than us by a country mile this bloke too. Listen to this. Cheryl Parnell, my brother asked me to make a get well soon card for him to give to a friend, which I did. Guess who got the card back? You got the <laughs> card back! <laughs> when I was in hospital having a total knee replacement. So sneaky. Oh uh, my god, that's something my brother would do. Better make two birthday kids, Quentin. I'm t 21 times 2 plus 1, plus one equals today. <laughs> oh goodness. Who's that? Mary Green. <sighs> You're being sneaky, Mary. Oh dear. Mary. That's it. Okay. That's just sneaky. So then when we open it up, <laughs> for the bodgy bit at the top, our pattern matches. See? Our pattern actually matches. That looks, um, yes, looks very good. See? Our pattern matches. Oh, let's take that away. It's very Scottish in pattern. Are you being a smart mouth, Quentin? No. <laughs> We've got Irish friends. That's so, from our, from the bottom of that piece of paper that we got the tartan from, let's cut some strips. Um, 43. What's that? Really times three. <laughs> really times three. Mary. Okay. So I'm going to cut like, oh, I need bigger bits. Do we have any of that other bit left? Uh, what bit have we got left? You got that bit. Let's put a bit of, let's put a bit of this stuff. What are you cutting me? So I am going to cut, this is from paper number four. And I'm going to cut two strips that are half an inch wide. Okay. And then I'm going to tear a tiny, tiny bit off. So, Fiona and Mary are just discussing ages, so uh, it looks like that uh, Fiona is one year older than Mary today. Oh my gosh. Wow. And whose son is 39 on Monday? Uh, let me scroll back up. No, no, that was talking about it last night. Someone's son is 39 on Monday when Naomi John turns 20. Wow. Because uh, my friend, so all of our friend in the creative family group, Jody is 39 on Monday as well. Has Jodie got the same birthday as Naomi? Yes. Geez, I pay attention to things in life. Oh my gosh. 
I'm pretty good at this friendship stuff. I like how I've got Facebook that reminds me of Emily. <laughs> Carol's. Carol's son is 39 on Monday. Same day as Jodie's birthday and Naomi John's. And so there you go. son is 34 today. He's yeah. So he's got the same birthday as Mary and Fiona. Wow. wow. Just a little bit of a small world, our crafty world, isn't it, peeps? I'm just sneaking you know. back. That's tense. Uh, that's a bit after Happy New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quentin. He's terrible. I'm going to ink the whole lot of this because I'm probably going to use it somewhere else. I'm going to use this little bit of cream burlap that I've torn to patch that and then do it on all three of them. All four of them. Oh, crap. All four of them because um, a box has four sides, not three sides. Um, <laughs> the table has four legs. The table has four legs. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do it on the mall so it looks like I meant to do it. See, I meant to do that. That was planned. It wasn't because I was not paying attention. Okay, that'll, that'll work perfectly. Lots of scorpions, yes. I know, my mother used to read the stars every day of the week. She still does. Just so you know. Yeah. I do hear about what personality my children are. something contrasting. I need something contrasting. There we go. I just need some contrast so I can see right to the edge. I can hear the Lego. She's in the Lego box, isn't she? Yes, she's got the Lego box. Which Quentin was... had hidden the Lego box. Last night I had one of those sharp Lego under your foot moments. It was a Duplo moment. At least it wasn't a. Um, yeah. Uh, wasn't that, a tiny Lego. That always gets. Although you... the other week Noah had a piece of his own Lego that his sister had been into in the foot, and he was not a happy camper. The sharp corners always get you in the tenderest part of the arch of your foot. Mhm. Mm That was put, that's why we all embellish our projects and pages. <laughs> Stick a flower on that. Yes, there are no mistakes. I was going to say, where's Tony? But I don't know where Tony will be. Tony will be watching the foosball. Watching the foosball. Watching the foosball. Kathy Bates said that in that movie. Oh. Kathy Bates scares me. Well, she plays scary characters. She's probably not oh. a scary person in reality. I don't know, but she scares me. She scares me. <laughs> I'm sorry. The water boy's mum. Not that we watch a lot of movies. Or I don't like Adam Sandler movies too much. And what was the movie we were about to get addicted to last night but we went to bed? The Descendants. The Descendants. It was George Clooney. We need to watch that. 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 was interesting. Rightio. And the box, I think I put the direction, directional paper in the wrong place. I think Andrew needs to see the... Okay, there's the box. I do like that. That is really nice. I like how it turns out with the directional paper. So you could do that with, like, you could have done that with like a timber paper, but I would try and put the timber on an angle, or you could have done that with. I'll tell you what it would have looked nice with, with, with the red checky stuff. 
Okay, and so we've still got a little bit of patching paper. There is actually like that edge. Yeah. So we have the bejesus out of the centre. So you could have, if you were really careful, you could have got in and and saved the centre bit and had the centre that matched. But you know, or you know, we could we could try and fake a centrepiece. Like oh, that's and to fake a centerpiece you just do that. That lines up. Line it up. So you could fake a centerpiece by lining it up and then um and then marking your points and then cut it down. So we'll save that bit just in case we decide to do that. But I don't think I will. Okay. I've got some white... I've got a piece of white cardstock here. This is bright white. The bright white we sell. And I'm thinking I'm going to put some white in it somewhere. So that's why I've got that. The bright white is a smooth cardstock. Mm. It's not the 280 GSM one, it's the 200 GSM smooth. So it's mm. slightly flimsier than the really heavy one that we use for um, putting ink and ink on, mm. mixed media on the other one. So I'm going to put a piece of this and it's going to be two and a quarter by two and a quarter inches. It's just a piece of my leftover. A three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches, not two and a quarter. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I'm going to put a bit of that in there, inside my lid. And then let's get, let's get this box going. So I'm going to put that in there. And then this burlap. Burlap. I'm going to put it on the lid. So I'm going to cut a piece that's, Three and three eighths by three and three eighths. Yep, it's nice and big. And that's because I've made these bits longer that I'm going to make it bigger. So it goes with my lid. I know this is meant to be a full blast one, but so, this is paper number one. So I'm thinking what we might do. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Oh, Trish has been out for dinner. Lucky Trish. Oh, lucky you, Trish. So we need to cut... I'm going to have the timber so it comes out like this. So we need to cut pieces that are three and three quarter inches wide. So we're going to cut a couple of these. I think we need three. I think we'll only get three of a piece of paper. And then we're going to cross cut these, so we're going to cross cut at three and a quarter. And 
And then because I've made mine smaller here, I'm going to have to cross cut mine at three and an eighth. So we want a three and a quarter and a three and an eighth for me, but you might do three and a quarter if you haven't cut yours down. So the original bit you cut three, three and three quarter strips. Yeah. Three and three so they're three and three quarter by three and a quarter and three and an eighth. But that's because I made this just slightly smaller. Or three and eight. Yeah, you just Depending need to test. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to have to cut. Okay, did anyone see my dilemma? I'm actually going to cut another strip because I really want it to be even so that these flow through. Okay, so I'm going to distress those and stick them on. Maybe this should have been a two night project because we're like, a, we're at like an hour and a half. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm taking so blastedly long. Okay. Can anyone see my edge distresser? I just need to quite unscathed. You've had it tonight, so far. Oh, no, I've had it several times tonight. I found it. What's the matter? I was just looking for a footy update. Why are you looking for a footy update? Uh, yeah. Quentin did have to play AFL when he was in the army in Victoria. And then when he came back to Queensland he had to play rugby league. Real football. Sorry to all the Victorians. I cannot follow AFL. I've never been able to follow it. I can't understand the game. Milton used to play AFL. Don't get me wrong, the kid loved it. And he could kick the ball over the house. Like that kid can kick, but... Yeah. Well, apparently, um, 17 minutes ago, okay. that's soon enough, um, Geelong was in front. Okay. Oh, sorry, no, that's live. Geelong was in front. Weren't they expecting Geelong to win? Well, Richmond, who are uh, black and yellow, so I presume they're the Tigers. Uh, they're 20 versus Geelong's 35. We get terribly excited about football, as you can tell. But yes, Milton enjoyed AFL, but only because he liked to kick ball. They do the Auskick program up here, which is very good for young kids. It's not to coordinate. Mm. No, I only did it one season. He didn't like it. And when I was a little bit older in the army, they made us play rugby league. Yeah. Reserve grade because. That's what you do. That's what you do. And you've got a bunch of drunken teenagers. 
<laughs> Damn, throw the targets to win, says Deborah. Sorry about that. Apparently idle, lazy teenagers with money. Should play football. Should play football. Well, it did stop us from being up for like one night a week. Quentin is very good at football, but his heart just was never in it. <laughs> it's because we were used as cannon fire. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my butt into gear. We might have to start moving along at a faster pace. Yeah, where's the fast forward button here? Hey, you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have to get a bit of a little 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 they're just not enough at the moment. It is all I can take. Just applying the tape, just getting it on there. Geez, I nearly put tape on the wrong side then. That would have been a bit devo. So ignoring what's on the back of them, that there's pretty stuff on the back. Just got to ignore what we've got on the back. Oh, that's nice. Yep, drinking plenty of water, had my regular caffeine intake for the day, uh, made sure I kept my salt intake the right levels, um, so, because can't have uh, blood pressure bottom out whilst sleep deprived, that goes really badly, really, really badly. Um, Guess who's having a sleep in Yep. Hire a Shopify expert. We could take some dogs out as a Shopify expert. Jeez. So you want to know something really interesting? So we have one of, and we're just a little drop in the ocean store. Like we're not any, we're not a big player or anything. Even in our industry, we're not a big player. We have a, one of the best customer ranking, like customers that come to our shop and shop with us in the world on Shopify for arts and entertainment industry. Which I thought was pretty cool. We actually rank really high and we have a good um, open rate on our emails. So we don't have, we don't collect names on our email address of people that don't want to look at our emails. So um, we actually get a good rating on the international anti-spam listing thing and me doodle lots of whatever it is so yeah which is really cool i've just um, got your emails down to ten thousand here i've just got my emails down to ten thousand in my inbox you've just been smashed by spam yeah we get spammed okay so let's have a look it's getting nice and thick and solid it's looking quite cool 
Well, I think it is. Look at that. And then let's distress this bit in here. I think that might be someone ringing um, backup helpline. Father to ask a spelling question. You ask. Mum is teaching a live and I am surprised. So mum's teaching a live, so mum's helpline is currently offline. Um, what do we need on mum's helpline? Facilitate. I'm just typing. F A C I L I T A T E. L I T A T E. That's what I said. Okay. Are you ready? F A C I L I T E. Today, as craft calls it. Oh no! We didn't know that. All right. I'm oh go. no! Mom. Yeah, we don't get much recognition. They just tell me, no, Leslie, no. and just tell me how cool I am, and that I should tell my no, customers. No. Yeah, I'll go. I'll ring you back later. Oh, that's really sad about Anna's. I didn't even right. know. I knew that Flutterboy Designs closed the other are closing, which is really sad too. Um, out at. Um, and it's craft, cu craft cupboard closed. Oh, okay. We don't like it when shops in our industry no, close. It's, it's not good for it's anybody. Never good for it's, it's never good for any of us. Um, it's good. especially the communities where those businesses are. It's really, yeah, no, it it's does, never good. It's so much of an industry where it's so difficult to tell what you're actually going to get from some of the images. Because even for us, when we look at the images when we're buying it, mm, and then the product shows up, and you go like, oh, "Okay." But Anna's was... craft cupboard clothing—that's devastating. That's we weren't. We were pretty upset that Flutterby were just closing as well, and yeah, no, it's not good. But yeah, so they tell you these things. He could always Google it. Yes, <laughs> they tell you these things that you um. The stats. The stats, and then you, yeah. So this piece we kept. I'm going to use the other side in here. I'm going to show you something really nifty in here. You know how when we're closing our box, how our pages keep wanting to open? Well, what we need to do is we need to, and I know these aren't distressed, but that's cool. It's all cool in school. So, because our box isn't distressed. So in here... If we put our insert, our centerpiece on foam, then what it does is it stops these pages from opening. It's a backstop. You know, like when we make an easel card, so we make a lot of easel cards in the group. It's the same thing. So this center here is four inches, oh, it's three and a half by three and a half, slightly less than. So let's go three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter find a straight edge on this thing because this has been a hack job so let's go three and a quarter by three and a quarter and I'm not going to use the check I'm actually going to do this first layer now let's have a look let's do a test first no let's bring that down it's not going to work because we've got these nice and thick now we do need to make this three inches by three inches so you do need to make it a little bit of a test. So cut it, see if it works. Right, that's gonna be better. We need to have a little bit of leeway for these. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to put anything on the inside and it's never gonna fit. It won't close if we don't have a little bit of gap between our pages and our stop gap. So that was from the tartan paper scrap. Yeah, tartan paper scrap. So I'm gonna distress that. That's Noah in the freezer. Make sure you get your sister some, please. Check what your sister wants, please. She wants yes, she will. Oh, God. Yeah, what do you want? We'll offer her what you're having. What do you want? No, he what do you share. want? He doesn't want to share. I think he's got blueberries at the moment. Yes, because he's so disappointed in Woolies. Woolies were out of strawberries. And who was it today? Oh, Deborah was making jam today. Yeah, 
Yeah, Devil was making jam today. And I was telling Devil about Neville. Do you remember Neville from Sharon Hire that used to make the jams for the Townsville show? Yeah. And his jam bottles used to disappear because his kids used to duck him when he was out working. So, I want to use this piece on my lid, on my roof. But what I want to do is make sure I keep the flame. Does that make sense? So I want to make sure I keep the flame and then I can put a little cinnamon here. I know this was meant to be a full blast box but we've, we've really fluff assed around. So I want to keep the bow and the flames. So what I need to do is cut make these two boundaries where they need to be so I've made these two as my boundaries and then I'm going to work backwards from there so let's go let's do a three inch by three inch square of that then I've got some craft left over from another project Oh no, that's from my lid. And I'm going to do a three and an eight. By three and an eight. And I know I'm doing eights and I'm really sorry. And when you do the mini album class with Jody, you will be doing eights as well. Just so, so you know. So I've cut a little bit of, this is paper number one. And I had a bit of scrap that had the candle. Uh -huh. So I've cut a three inch square of that, but I've gone backwards so that I kept the flames and the bow. So I'm just, just going to do one. Yeah. And then I've got a piece of craft that's three and one eighth by three and one eighth. And I'm just going to put that because this piece is burlap and this piece is burlap and they're slightly different shades. I'm going to put this piece of craft between. So I'm just going to distress these two. Don't love the one eighth. Right. So I'm going to ink these. So just stress before you gut. <laughs> I, I didn't do that in a class the other day, and it's a bugger. Sounds like we're working at a fish shop. Yep. So Deborah's put up a thing up here. I understand about product quality, bought some Australian papers and was so disappointed, shiny and not suitable for many applications. Yes. Not suitable for mixed media. Yeah, so shiny paper is laser print. We paper. actually have some, it's digital printer, we actually digital have printer, some yeah. pattern paper that we bought from a supplier, an Australian supplier. It's Australian made but it is digital. Our paper could have been digital printed. We could have saved a lot of money and sold it a lot cheaper if we digital printed it. Yeah, but we, but we nice. went with offset printing because it was nicer. So That's I'm nice. going to cut the middle out of the craft and the middle out of the big one, not the little one of burlap, the big one of burlap. I'm reading a, um, a article that I found about the difference between digital, digital and, digital offset printing printing. and offset printing. And it's all about the, the company that we, the company that prints our pattern paper for us. Their digital printing is, it's really hard to tell the difference between their offset and digital printing. Like, like their digital printing is, is outstanding, but it still doesn't mix media right. It yeah. doesn't take mix media, it doesn't take, yeah, yeah. And uh, they were putting, they were calling it um, that it was more resistant. Um, mm. And it works for it, some industries, but not ours. It's because the toner that they use when they do digital printing actually puts a film coat on the top of the paper. Yeah. So. Quentin's a bit of an ink expert now with the different Oh, I just found it very prints. interesting. And we also paper. We're very into our paper. And then write up with gel pen. Oh. Yep. 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 Yeah. Um, and I think it's probably the stuff that we've got sitting on my desk at work to enter and we've been a bit wary of entering. There was a New Zealand paper so, like that as well. Like yeah, that. so we've sat the bigger piece of burlap on here and then we're going to stick our candle to our bit of craft and then put that on foam. Now we might not get this all decorated tonight 
because it's getting late and I really I really think you guys need to there's only so long you can create for right let's just be honest with ourselves and I know you guys like to finish the project but it's um, so when he's asking about the photos from Harvey Norman about how they're printed and um, they were processed but now they're printed now they're printed but they're the closest so they use um, Fujifilm so they are closer to processing than what Kmart are um, Kmart are just printed um, it's really hard to find a place that processes it's basically impossible for us here but Harvey Norman are your closest to um, processing last year they did trial a paper that was um, thinner for their mat and they've gone back I've noticed they've gone back to the other one they had before it may have just been a supply issue so this one's gonna go in here on foam right so we need something to go on top of that so let's have a look at our doodahs and stuff. Let's put a piece of this. So this bit in the middle here was the piece that was three by three. So let's mimic this. And let's cut a, let's cut a two and, two and three quarter inch by two and three quarter inch piece. And then we're gonna cut a two and seven eighth by two and seven eighth of craft. So where's the two and three quarter by two and three quarter from? Um, paper one. Okay, yep. Yeah. So it is nice, like, remember last night when we did this, we bought our box base colour into our embellishments and our inside. It is nice to bring a bit of our box base into it so it doesn't look like, oh, she only had one sheet of, or two sheets of that, so that's why she did that. And two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Yeah. Our craft card craft card yeah that's a bit smaller than that but that's okay it's the inside so let's distress this whoops bit rough we are going to do some embellishing I was just gonna ask Wendy if she could make me a bit of a card that would look like a teacher's gift it needs to get you to make it to just gift to Wendy. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're on to you, dude. Yeah, I think so too. And I wrote crack card instead of craft card. <laughs> crack card instead of craft card. Crack. At least I only looked at the air. And um you can't blame spell check for that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chucked away the wrong bit. Let's cut the middle out of this. See these little guys? I want to put these little stars on the side. Oh yeah. Maybe I need to do a follow-up video where I decorate the, the box card. Yeah, you might have to make that a special life. What? Oh, it's on the cat in. Yeah, just let one of the cats in. I hope that was a bit more ink than what we Jeez, now it's getting late when Maddie Cat comes in. Yeah, Maddie Mai. Maddie Mao. Right, so let's stick these two together flat. So my class tomorrow afternoon on Craft Alive is a repeat of one of my other classes, but I will finish I will finish the the video and everything for the tag that was meant to be tomorrow. I will actually finish that series properly um, sometime this week. 
see how I go because Naomi, John and Milton are coming home for a couple of days. Milton, um, he planned it as best he could before he had to tell her because what he's trying to do is come home for her birthday. It's her birthday Monday. So he wanted to come home for a couple of days and he wasn't meant to be home until Christmas. So she needs to come home before her final uni interviews. So I'm gonna stick this. Now we're gonna, we're just, we're just being a bit, bit poofy here. Sticking that on there with foam and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna add some more foam. Wow. So we're gonna add a bit here. So Mary and Deborah are saying that yeah, decorating another time would be great. Yeah. And Wendy's having a shot at me telling me I've got one job. And can you just have a look on Amelia's desk because she's got my other bottle of fun tape? She did have some, yes, I know she did. Okay. And she was proudly telling me this afternoon when I told her to stop using so much sticky tape. She said, I can go to this double sided tape. Yep. So let's put this in the middle. Because, you know, Barbie's kit, cat needed a swim pool this afternoon. That's what we've made. So we've made a swim pool for the Barbie house. Ah, oh, well, Lisa. It's kind of. Oh. No, she's made a cat out of collage. That's right. It's a massive big collage and it's not, and it's a cat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to, before I finish with this. And here's its other bit. Yeah. Because they, remember they let her bring home an unfinished collage from school. You're watching, Amy. I'm not happy. <laughs> We're sending it back. And I did say at work that because we have um, one basket under the peel off and package um, end of the big work um, table um, in the studio space at work, um, we have one basket that is paper to go in the bottom of the garden beds as compost or mulch and we have one that's to go to prep. And I did say that while she was crafting at work, she could use the prep basket. Well, she has had an awesome time in there because we've had a couple of stuff ups on prototype products this past week. And she's had a wonderful time. I don't know if prep's getting much. Delving in the basket. Um, Meredith asked, so have you put the foam to make it better at stopping the page yep. opening? Yep, so double foam is, I'm just going to ink these and then I will show you. Um, I'm just inking the edges of my box and my bits and bobs. So I want to ink the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to come back and ink it. I found a bit that I didn't ink. Yep, I didn't ink that. Should be right. So the double foam helps to see how it's acting as a back, a good backstop in here. So the pages actually stay better, in, pl in place better. And the double foam helps with that. And then when we put our lid on. So oh, look at that. And it's nice and stiff. So it's got that stiff, you know, the sides don't buckle to fit in. So people ask me why I don't cover in here these sides. You can, but you they get caught when you put the lid on. They get caught like if you had something up here, it would get caught by the lid. But they also make it too tight. So you need to make your lid, lid like a lot bigger. A lot bigger than what you think you would need to make it bigger to accommodate that. Does, I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm actually making sense. I know this was meant to be a full blast shabby chic shebango one, but we've only got this far. 
because I really wanted to show you how to um, I didn't want to show you how to fix mistakes but I have but I really wanted to show you how to use a directional print and how to make these little flippy things so that they work and they don't get curly crappy edges and because when they're open you can see a little tiny bit of your craft it's got a real let's put something underneath it let's put the jumper print it's it, it see it's another part of the it's another part of the pattern when you've got that little border there I hope that makes sense I still need to put something on the bottom so I could put a bit of print or I could put a bit of timber I might put a piece of timber on the bottom I like to put something on the bottom it just gives it a bit of a um, protection and then if it gets dirty or wrecked or you know kids spill coffee on it you can always just peel that piece off and put another piece on there but that's where we're at so far so we need to embellish this and make a little scene and then I've got my little chooks and I want to have them that they dangle you know on my weekends off we sort of sit around and go oh Saturday night we sit around and go oh what are we gonna do oh that's a bit boring we didn't organize something to do why, why have we got so much time we're sleeping in tomorrow <laughs> we are sleeping in tomorrow but yes I'm happy to do it I love creating with you guys you're just the best I love all you guys. You've just been such a good support. You really don't know how much you have saved our mental health, our um, lives, kept us going, um, given us a reason to get up and get dressed each day. Um, even through COVID, we got up and got dressed in our work clothes every day to spend time with you. And it was really good. We really needed that. Kept the normality. We've met so many lovely people this year and kept in touch with people that we only saw once a year at a craft show. Yeah, it says you miss us. <laughs> I do miss you guys on weekends. Oh, look, I might have to use my nest. My chook's nest stuff. Give me a chance to do a bit more fussy cutting. I'm going to fussy cut a bit more. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to fussy cut more of, like, not the, I might do a little bit of the cotton. I'm going to do the cookie hearts. Um, a few more of the stars and I'm definitely going to fussy cut from sheet number eight from this one I'm gonna fussy cut some of these little things from here to put on my on my thing you know we're in central Queensland there are bugs everywhere just bugs 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 so, so we're gonna decorate this um, I will say I'm still a little foggy. My nose is actually really hurting now. There is no anesthetic left in my system to stop it from hurting. But it's okay. I'll be right. So you got to remember, keep an eye on your skin, people. Um, it has only been four weeks and one day since the spot started that I had removed yesterday. So. Yeah, Marie. I... There was a bad storm. Yes. Yeah. You were lucky in Boona. The kids got hail at Burpengary. Um, and I know Lee got hail at Burpengary. Oh, hey, Beryl. Um, yes, he better sell it all. We move into the house next weekend. Uh, yep. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Sylvia. Um, and Milton was at the Indrapilly store today and they had hail at Indrapilly. Okay. So we're going to decorate. Um, and, and I have cut these little birdies on the strings from paper number four, so I better use them. I'm thinking about using them on, um, these side bits, but yeah, we'll get there. Oh, David got five dents from hay on his car. Oh no, David. Marie's David. Oh, yep. Oh no. Yeah, Milton got some. Hi, Fiona, and Fiona, and Re. Um, yeah, Milton was at um, the DFO not long ago when they got hail. He was yeah. working there the day they got hail. Hi, hey, Leslie and Wendy. So yeah, okay. So we're um gonna finish decorating this box from last Saturday night. If you missed Sunday night. 
This was Sunday night, and these are pockets on the side. So this is Sunday night. This got a little bashed going to work the other day. Um, and I do have week 46's kit to show you, but I didn't edit it because I was so busy updating apps this evening. So there is an iPad update. Um, Facebook is saying that it's three days old. So this was Sunday night. Um, so Facebook is saying that the app update is three days old. It is not three days old. It is actually today old. Um, and what it does is if you don't update the app, you can't access any videos prior to the 2nd of October. Uh, that was really scary considering we have well over 200 videos um, between this Facebook page and three virtual retreat groups and, and we'll be our year in review group our and our creator family group which has got hundreds and hun it's got more than 200 on it um and they were all gone hi awona you flare you posted today oh did i post oh yes 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 i've got that that's in the um, week 46 kit hi robin and robin so this is um, this Christmas from Lemon Craft. And Anne and Faina. Okay, I'll, I might have to stop saying hello to everyone because there's, you know, 30 of you now. Okay, so this was our base we made last Saturday night. So we're going to decorate it. Everyone wanted to see what I was going to do when I decorated it because I fluffed around so much with it and I'm already fluffing around just talking. Um, and I've still got a little bit of vellum. And it is vellum week, so I might bust out a bit more vellum. Yeah, Wendy, you can still access the old videos, but you have to update your iPad. You have to make sure if you're using an iPad that your iPad is up to date. Right, with all the current updates. Otherwise, when you go to view in there, I think the oldest one on a non-updated iPad is Naomi's video from last Friday. No, 2nd of October. 2nd of October. So the last... The oldest video you can watch without an update on your iPad is the 2nd of October. How do you update said app, says Leslie. So go to the App Store. Leslie, <laughs> we might have to do a video in the group on how to update an app. Oh, actually, why don't I just show you now? Would you like me to show you now, Leslie? I think that's what Leslie would like. Okay. So can we see this? Are we, are we able to see this? Yeah, I'll tell you in a second. Well, let's take it off the doodah thing. Okay, so we've got an iPad. Are we ready? So we're going to get out of Facebook. Right, so you can see I've got a lot of apps. So you have to go into your settings and you have to go to um, iTunes and App Store. And you have to make sure that it's got you're logged into your iTunes account, right? And then you go on the App Store, so it's this one. So mine's in my utilities folder. I can't see what they're doing. I can't see any comments, Quentin. So you have to relay these to me. Yep. So see this one that's like a um, a weird A thing, this blue one here. So you have to go into it. And then you have to click on the picture of you up here in the top right, or it'll say log in. And then it says, it'll say down here, so mine says open because it's up to date. It will say here, updates. And it'll be a little oval thing here that'll say the word update. And you click on that and then it'll do a donut of life and updatey, updatey, update. So I just had to update all of these apps. So for those that are just joining since Because Christmas, Facebook, I can't get to auto update on my iPad. Um, everything, else, oh, look at that. I've got three new ones. I'm not gonna do them right now. So let's pull down. So when you pull down, you get that donut of life. It checks for updates. So I've got three more new updates. So for those that are just joining since the laser started on the updates, we've discovered that if you have an iPad and that your iPad hasn't got the latest updates for Facebook on it, so the latest So there Facebook you are updates. on video. Oh look, that's where we're back to on the video. Look, we're coming back to here. Okay. You can't view so I'm just gonna um, there. any of the video, old videos in the groups. So, yeah, it's 
simply a Facebook thing and you just have to need to do the updates. So, Lisa so if you have trouble, you can contact us, okay? So I've cut out of paper number eight. Quentin, can you share paper number eight? from? So this is using Christmas wishes from Lemon Craft. So paper number eight. This Christmas gift. This Christmas. Oh, not Christmas wishes. Christmas wishes is scrap boys. This Christmas. So paper number eight is this toned one. So there were some little houses down here. So I'm just going to cut the windows out. Oh, I should have said craft knife alert. So Tanya's saying not only iPads, my Samsung and phone is the same. Yep. So um, if I try and video a class, like do a Facebook Live class, and I haven't done the Facebook update, and that's why I was a couple of minutes late because it was doing, my phone was doing the update, it actually makes my um, phone work harder and it, that's why my phone overheated the weekend of our retreat because there was a Facebook update and I didn't get to it immediately. So it's a bit of a sneaky way of making sure we're all up to date. It, is, it makes life very difficult if you have an older iPad like um, our one at work that's Noah's old iPad that we pick orders with can't do the new Facebook updates because it's too old and it's not that old and um, yeah. It's all right, Carol's just saying that Leslie could bring her iPad around on yeah, next so, Saturday. So if you take it round, if you can't get it done, yeah, take it round to Carol's. Um, don't get Trisha's husband to help you with it either, Leslie, because um, he's having troubles even learning how to use a phone. <sighs> we had quite a discussion the other day as as to why Messenger and Messages, not only were they similar words, but one was blue and one was green and shouldn't phone companies know that he can't tell the difference between blue and green on a lit screen? I hate to inform him the new messenger is bluey green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't want to tell him that they'd changed the colour of the new messenger. Sorry, Trish, you're in for a hard time. Yep, yep, yep. Trish from Harvey Bay, this is. Yeah, she's your Trish. Cutting the windows out of the little house. Yeah, I'm cutting the windows out. I was meant to do this before class, but I was so busy trying to update the app because I didn't want my phone to overheat during class. I was just, you know, I'm too scrooge to buy a new phone. I didn't, didn't want my. I, I'm doing a bit of a bodgy job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this up with scissors. Trust me. I'm pushing too hard. That's why it's tearing. I'm trying to cut through with one cut and it's not going to work. So I need to do a couple of cuts. Right yeah. Jeez, is a bodgy. I better use these things. Has anyone got any questions? So week 46 is going to be using the flare button. I put a picture up today. We've got the word Christmas and we've got like a, another white berries that we were using last night. It's that shape um, as an outlining thing to fill. And then uh, the Christmas is a scripty word. And then it's got um, Ponsettia cutouts. That's raining that hard and gimpy that Owen is going to use headphones to hear you. Oh dear. Well, it's just hot here. It's like... There's a storm sitting out there, whether we're going to get it or not. Yep, yeah, there's a storm so close to us and it's just hot and yucky. Um, so our adult children have worked out that um, they can their refrigerator is a dirty, great, big whiteboard, right? Uh, their refrigerator is actually... Um, was our new shop refrigerator. Um, 
So they, um, Naomi John and her art friends were riding out the storm this afternoon before heading to a party. And um, they have left messages for Milton and drawings. They've all drawn something on the refrigerator. So... Leslie was thanking you for your um, info on how to update and we'll leave it to Carol. We'll leave it to Carol? <laughs> okay. And Trish Davis is saying that, you know, her norm is colour blonde, red is green. Yep, so... yep, yep. Well, the other Trish's husband was most disgusted that not only are the names similar, but yeah. yes, he has to talk to some people on one and some people on the other. He has to remember who he talks to on which one, and they're both colours that he gets confused. He was quite passionate about this company. He also, um, well, he all but video bombed. <laughs> <laughs> he was, yes. He was very impressed. He was in the store and she's... Tuesday when I was recording my class. That was my card making class. Sorry, this is boring as bat crap. This watching me do this. You know the best thing about a storm coming? No bats. <laughs> I hate bats. I'm just telling you. I don't you, hate many things, but bats are something I really don't like. You will not go walking if the bats are flying. Which is yep. 99 bats of the time. Bats fly over and you know really high up and yeah 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 there's no way there's a bat gonna crap on me because i hate bats yeah my dad didn't like fruit bats fruit flying bat. foxes fruit bats fruit are bats. very noisy they're not good neighbors fruit bats yes yes because my dad used to have a fruit farm. He did not like bats. And he didn't like chemical um, solutions. So we used to make like flying sorcery things to go in trees with our foil and make all sorts, you know, our craft projects were things to scare the bats away. Um, Sherry's asking me how's your nose today? Um, it's a little sore. Uh, I have knocked it through the night, I think, um, and I knocked it once today. It is a bit sore. Uh, I've got one black eye. Um, Marie Noah still that. can't look at me without cringing. I think he's just a little bit stressed out by it. Um, Amelia is oblivious to what's happening. Noah's, yeah. Noah thinks about things. Amelia's off to Grandma's house today. Yes, she's at Nana's tonight. Marge absolutely over. hates bats. Yep, no. Yeah. Bats. I don't like spiders either, or snakes, but bats, no, bats are just bad. Bad bat juju. Bad bat juju. <sighs> Caving would be so much better if bats didn't live in caves. <laughs> Uh, so does anyone want to know why I don't go caving? <laughs> yeah, handy hint, if you're ever going to join scouting and they say they're going to go caving, it's not like you're just walking through it's a cave. It's not like Capricorn Caves where you walk through the caves. It's like, so Naomi John, when she was in year nine, one of her friend's um, parents organized adventure caving for a group of girls for a birthday party so it was a different kind of birthday party and it was adventure caving and they knew Naomi John did caving with her brother with Milton Milton loves adventure caving but Milton goes in the kind of caves and takes Naomi like organizes trips used to he's a bit big now he's a bit tall but um, they used to go in the kind of caves where you abseil in the cave and you prosic and out of, the out of the caves and there's skinny paths and fatty paths and Quentin yeah. used to go and in the fatty paths. And there's little kids only paths. 
little kids only paths and they used to do like mountain climbing in the caves so Naomi John went on this went to this birthday party all prepped up for so she had a bag of clothes to go shopping after caving but yes and when when she arrived and the other girls were just wearing shorts and t-shirts and runners and she was wearing her actual caving gear she knew she was kind of in a little bit of trouble but then when they went adventure caving and there were rails and it was walking the whole way um it was not adventure caving <laughs> so oh cheryl's just had a hail storm very scary no broken wind. oh are you very okay scary. Yard looks like a winter wonderland. Take a photo, Cheryl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use some of the scrapbooky winter winter papers. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy up my snipping. It is easier to craft knife the bulk of it out. And by the way, the dog next door is just going ballistic because there's kids walking around the street doing trick or treating, and which we've got our front curtain shut and our patio patio light off. We don't. We're not doing trick or treating. Um, so, um, yeah, the dog is going ballistic next door. Our new neighbour hasn't yelled at it yet. I reckon he'll probably walk it before the owners do. Which yeah. will be really good because Quentin was ready to walk it before we opened the store up again. Too dark to take a photo, says Cheryl. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Everyone get out there with your iPhone torches. Everyone, over to Cheryl's house to take photos of the snow. Coordinate our flashes so it all goes bright luminous. Okay, I'm just tidying this up a bit. But I am using, I've got lots of new stuff to have made. And tomorrow's the 1st of November. No, it is not. Yep, tomorrow is the 1st of November. So guess what happens tomorrow? Redwood Farm comes out, which yeah. is our next paper range. We have a day off. Yeah. No, we don't. We have new paper coming out and products to match. So I do have the first release of the products here. Radio. Jeez, that's a bit dodgy. Was Cheryl out of Mergen? Yes, I think Cheryl said she was from Mergen. So really, really disappointed. It's an election. It's polling day today in Queensland. So Midsummer Murders wasn't on. So it's going to fussy cut to Midsummer Murders. Oh, what is happening with the election? Here? Don't know, I don't care. I'll Google it. Quentin's going to Google the election stuff. Can someone just say nothing's going yet? I think that's a cat on the front screen. It sounds like a cat on the front screen. I'll go and check it out. Trick or treaters usually don't come in our yard because our front yard, we're the only people in our area with a fully fenced front yard. Other than one house that's got a super high fence the whole way down. Oh, Missy's had a grasshopper in this evening already. And the chickens loved eating it. Okay, I'm just cleaning this up. I wonder if we can trick or treat the neighbours across the road with their doof doof with a couple of fire extinguishers on up in the house. Have you seen the mess those boys have made of their utes with mud today? Yep. So tomorrow they're going to waste water washing them. They won't wash them tomorrow. Um, They'll go through a car wash. They're young men. I don't know. Okay. Robin said it was wishful thinking that I'd have a day off. Nope, no day off. Uh, okay. Hail up to 14 centimetres in diameter. Yeah, they had wow. golf balls, so oh. bigger than golf balls. 14 so. centimetres is six inches, dear. That's pretty big. That's massive. Holy, if that clocked you, you'd melt. Um. It was bigger than golf ball size at Indra Pilly or something today. 
Milt was glad he parked in the wrong spot and was undercover. Okay. Yeah, no, there's nothing out on the election yet. Good. What a shame. And we're not watching that live. Nope. It's only interesting if it's going to be a cliffhanger. I don't know which way it's going to go. I don't give a crap. <laughs> really? <laughs> right, yeah. So I'm just going to hit these with a little bit of my brown dye ink and my bodgy sponge dauber just to get rid of the white edges and it also means that it's going to hide any of those bits that I haven't quite trimmed properly and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to vellum them. Well, there you go. Wallabies uh, versus All Blacks is on tonight in the union. Well that's probably more interesting That'll than the election. Lee says her hair was Tommy compared to that. Yeah, Naomi says she had hail at her house. She got the car in, but she was a bit worried about the wheelie bins. I said, don't worry about the wheelie bins. They belong to the council. <laughs> Holy the hell. Springfield got massive hail. A house collapsed. Oh, dear. Where's this? Um, we actually got text messages from their oh. kids' landlord, uh, kids real, real estate, estate agents to um, let them know if there's any damage to the house. So... I they were predicting that, yeah, and it, that there wouldn't be enough trade staff to fix any damages tonight, so they were trying to... Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, so what I'm going to do is yeah, I've got a bit fine. of vellum left over from yeah, last night. So, I'm going to get my Dimensional Magic, and I'm going to yeah. put a little bit of Dimensional Magic a little bit out from my opening. And I can see a bit of white paper in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it. So I'm going to stick my... My little houses to some vellum. We'll let you know where we're going to be. I'm sticking them to vellum and then when I stick them to my project it just gives it a bit more of an interesting look because it's not just a hole it's a it's like a window so let's put that aside to dry I do try and make sure that I don't get any ooze in underneath the windows because that looks a bit off Okay, so I've got some gauze here that I'm going to hack up. So you get 10 pieces this size in the pack for $2. So let's, I'll measure it. I've measured it a few times over the last God knows how many months. Because I can't remember. So it's like 7 inches by 14 inches. back in the ruler but it's good because you can just divide it up into half and quarters and then hack that up and it's non-elastic cotton gauze yeah it's cotton gauze it's non-elastic it is surgical grade um, but by the time we because we buy it in massive bulk by the time we've packetized it well, I don't think it's sterile just so you know. Then I'm just going to give it a bit of a trash. Just wreck it a bit. And then scooch it up in the middle. I'm going to put a little bit here. And it softens, you know, it softens the softens the blow. It softens things up. Okay, let's put a bit of our brown around. This sponge daub is becoming a little bit discombobulated. Uh, it will... It will whoops itself eventually. Discombobulated sponge. 
Yep, I've got a discombobulated sponge stopper. No, fine. it's not sterile, said Cheryl. No, it is no longer sterile once I have packetized it. And yes, it's me that packetizes it. And I hope everybody that gets a week 46 kit appreciates it because two of the papers had to be hand cut in half with scissors because the designs were the halves went that way and that way so that I couldn't just put it through my machine. So I was not happy. Are you sure you were happy? I was not happy. You were not there. Quentin was sitting in a car listening to mothers whinge about having to wait to pick their kids up. So I've got these roses. I really don't know if these are in the online store, but these are in the shop. I do have some roses in my shop. And then, you know... I'm making a little clump of things. They call it a cluster, but it's a clump. And then let's get... I got this swirly die. It's a uniquely creative one. Where's my die cut machine? It's over here. I'm going to... Get my swirly die. And I'm going to cut a couple of swirls. I told you it was vellum week. Valium Week. Uh, friends of ours are Cub and Joey Scout leaders, and we saw them at lunch today. No, they're both Joey Scout leaders. Oh, they're both Joey Scout leaders now. He used yes. to be a Cub leader. They're both Joey Scout leaders, and we saw them at lunch today, um, and they were looking rather um, frazzled. Uh, they had ha had a, um, a Joey um, mob sleepover at the den last night. Let's Different just, group to our group. Let's just call it a stay over. A stay over, <laughs> and um, and yeah, um, interesting enough, they looked like they needed um, alcohol, not coffee. <laughs> they were looking just a little. They bit were frazzled. looking a little bit tired and frazzled. But happy. Right, let's cut some swirls out of alum. So if you want to know other ways to use vellum, this week in the Scrapbook Fantasies Creative Family Group, we have used vellum lots and lots of different ways. So when it comes out of the die, it's a bit of a bugger. So it's, it's a bit of a peely peely action. So you're actually peeling the excess off. It's uniquely creative swirl die, Quentin. Yeah, no, it's not called swirl. No, flourish. 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 That happened to us last time we used it. Yeah. It happens every time. Into my brain. So when we go to use this, we sort of are going to peel the bits out of the outer excess. Occasionally you'll have to cut it because vellum is a kind of, it's kind of a paper, but it's kind of more of a plastic than a paper. Oh, that's that's one of our girls, that's Madeline, getting beaten up. Oh. Really? The neighbour's fluffy cat, that's named Bella, that we call Palpatine, wouldn't right. let one of the girls in this afternoon. Yeah! Oh, that's Quentin, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> And that's one really quiet dog next door now. So when you peel it out, so don't think that your cutting die is stuffed or it hasn't cut the vellum. It's just that vellum is a bit finicky. So sorry about that, folks. Yep, yeah, sorry about that, folks. That was quite yelling at the neighbour's dog. All heard from Mother Dallas' side of the fences. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so our new neighbour on the other side. Yes, he's very happy that he didn't have to yell. I think he was pretty close to yelling. Yeah. They're in a little unit and they were in a big two-story house and they've retired into a little unit next door to us and um, they live a lot outside. They cook outside and that. So um, he doesn't want to listen to someone else's dog bark all the time. Maybe. We've still got that dog again. 
Have we? Oh, I'll buy some more. Oh, I just ripped it. Ripped off, Roz. Okay. So, I'm going to cut some more. Now that you've watched me cut windows out and then... Now, if you were really concerned and you didn't want to have to do the picky peely thing, you could grab a piece of paper or cardstock and then kind of... Apparently, Meredith, Meredith Billings' little dog looked up at her when I pushed her. Oh, sorry, Meredith. Sorry, Meredith. Right. We do have a Couture Creations Nouveau cut and foil. Swirly dye. Flourish dye. I'll put up a link for it. So you could pack it because vellum is super thin. You could put a piece of paper in. Only a piece of paper. You don't need to, but you could. I'm just going to for the... Just to try and speed up the picking process. Oops, I think that moved. Ah, oh, she'll be right. Oh, you're just going to message. Right? Yeah. Right. So, Milton's laptop is on its way to Brisbane tomorrow. And... Yeah. Because I, Naomi was willing to drive home and then drive back for a thing on Tuesday, but yeah. She'll be home very soon. In the next few days. I think Wednesday or Thursday she comes home. Okay. She wants to do more arty classes with you guys. Because Friday's class I think was pretty successful. Her um, canvas class for her mixed media class. So, um, if you would like to do more arty, like her to show more arty things, or how she makes, like, the process behind some of her artworks, um, yeah, maybe we need to do a video showing, um, what she made this semester. She's very prolific with her artwork. They say they want 20, she makes 40. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just prepping a few bits of swirly stuff that we can then, because I won't use the swirl as a whole, I never use things like this as they are, I usually cut little bits off, do you know what I mean, like I use bits, like I use the um, gauze, I hack a bit from it, and do you have a, um, cut? so it is quicker if you use a bit of paper. Do you have a cut full of an embossed dye that you can just show the ladies I've just had? How to use it? Okay, yeah, and... I can do that. What they look like and how they work. So. Okay, so let's get Elizabeth the tub of doom. Elizabeth saying dun, mixed dun, media dun. would be awesome. Dun, dun, dun. So I admitted to one of my customers, and he is one of my awesome arty customers. Um, just comes. He asks me all sorts of questions. Could I do this? And I'm like, no, that's dangerous. Oh, what about this? No, that's dangerous. He was going so to make needed... his own bidet outside. <laughs> we have we have had some intellectual discussions, and um, he did he did try and make a bidet out of an outdoor chair. Except one problem, he gave it a dry one run wearing clothes, and he realised that the neighbours could see him from their balcony. So quickly packed that one up, and we didn't do that one. He didn't do that one, so we, he's really lovely. Um, he plays the didgeridoo, so uh, I now have agreed. Now a chair with a hole in it. Yeah, <laughs> now it's a chair with a hole in it. Um, I have agreed to him playing didgeridoo at the front of my shop. Okay, so we've got these numbers, and I've got a butterfly. I'm trying to find the wings. Where's the wings? Oh, I've lost my wings. I've lost my wings. Okay. Stop. Let me show you. So, cut foil and embossed dies. So it cuts on the sharpie. It's not sharp, it's not going to cut you. Although, I'm just going to say safety warning, I have these all the time. It's Skin Cancer Week, remember this week as well on our safety warnings. Um, 
cutting dies you use continuously over and over again can get sharp. Kaiser Crafts cutting dies can get quite sharp. I have actually cut myself on a Kaiser Craft cutting die before. They do get very sharp if you use them continuously, but this one's not. So this outer raised, really quite sharp, fine piece, that's where it cuts. All these raised bits in here where I've got foil on them accidentally in a class are uh, where it would foil in a cut foil when you use it to cut foil and emboss in a, a go press and foil machine. Um, they get a bit of a bow sometimes when they go through this all the time, but that's okay. doesn't damage the one of that. But you can use this as a cut and emboss. So I'll show you how that works. I hope we have this butterfly in stock. Probably not. We have a lot in stock. Is it the new butterfly? Yeah. I think. Butterfly. So you're just going to use it like a normal cutting die. Or at least magnet sheets. It's magnet sheets. On my dies. Yes, especially Kaiser Craft dies are really, really, really notorious for it. So you can see here, I hope you can see, is that where it's raised on the die, they call these cut and create now. Um, where it's raised, it's got sort of like an imprinted, more polishedness to the cardstock because this is polished steel. Um, so to really show it up, let's just, I'm just going to graze the ink pad over the raised parts. I used a linen textured piece of cardstock, piece of cardstock. Not good English there, is it? So you can see, whoops, I was too far forward. Back a bit, Miss Jane. Um, so you can see that the raised portion is um, also still textured cardstock. We do also have numbers. I'm sure we still have these in stock. So these numbers, people look at them and go, oh, they're a bit dodgy, but I'll just put a link up for all the cuts all the numbers. So Couture Creations make cut foil and boss dies. You can buy a couple of other brands. Um, Spell and Binders have something sort of similar, which is licensed. There's a lot of rip-off stuff out there. A lot of the rip-off stuff doesn't work. But yeah. So this number, you can see the raised portion, which is where it would foil becomes an indent that's polished and the outer bit is um, still as it is. Oh look, here's a contrasting colour. I'm just trying to do contrasting ink. Is that not the contrast? Nope. Let's get something that's a good contrast. Oh, golden black. There we go. This will show the difference. So I'm just using the golden black so you can see the difference in the two levels. Whoops. There you go. See if it gets if it'll focus on my my hand. So there. I don't know if you can see that. That's good. Okay. So they cut and emboss. Just ignore the word foil. But if it says it's a hot foil stamp, yeah, yeah no, you can't use that in your cut machine. Yeah. Trust me, I have tried. They don't emboss. And you don't need to use a metal plate with the cut foil emboss dies. Does a spun dies, hot foil dies work with the go press and foil machine? I have heard that they do, but I haven't tried it, Marie. Um, um, but I have heard they do, but I haven't given it a bust myself. I would really like some of the, um, because they did the Jane Davenport ones with the mermaid tail and the mermaid scale and that. I think I really would like those. Mary says she understands now. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All you got to do is ask. I will show you anything. 
kind of within reason, like, you don't need to know what colour underwear I wear, but, you know, crafty stuff, anything. Okay, and it's really, yeah, uh, Ro and I were um, working, like Rowena came in and helped me at the shop yesterday, get some of the Redwood Farm stuff ready um, for release tomorrow, and um, we were watching Naomi's video. So I have lost my piece of gauze, bugger. Okay. No, that's not I didn't. It's gone. It's gone ski. Right, let's get another bit of gauze. It's somewhere. It'll be somewhere in the rubble. Let's just wrap that up. So, I'm meant to be decorating this thing and I'm like, you know, 20 minutes in the nose. So Done next to nothing. Dropping cards. Oh, yeah. Why aren't you still adding cardstock? Oh, he's adding glitter card. Glitter card. So I put a heap of cardstock on this morning. I'm just getting a bit of our swirly stuff. Vellum. And we've got our Christmas tree that's on foam. And our heart. And our little rose. Like that. Okay, and then we're going to. So you couldn't put one of these roses inside here. Well, you could, but then it's going to not close properly. So I'm going to um, just make sure that the 450 glue is clear at the top. Undo the lid and tip it up. And just sit it there, ready to go. Um, Leslie's asking about week 46. Yes, week 46. I do have the kit to show you. And the ladies are saying it's near your door, but... Ah, there it is at the front, at the top. Here. Oh, it is too. Look at that. It's up near the door bar. So when will it go on sale? Uh, as soon as I edit the picture, like crop the picture down that I took and put it up. So we have, should be arriving on Monday more Savannah Sunset so we can make more So week, week 45. 45 kits will get replenished. Hopefully Monday when we get more Savannah Sunset. It is somewhere. I think it went into the vortex. It went into the vortex on Wednesday. So we ordered it Tuesday to make more kits. As soon as we knew that kits were... Um, yeah. We had no idea that that was going to sell like that. Yeah. Nice and I've got a little tone, bit of really. glitter glue. What's that? It's a nice earthy tone. It, it's, it's a bit masculine. It's It's got potential. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this bit, bit of this gauze under here. Okay, so Meredith's asking, are you going to decorate under the flaps how much of the inside gets decorated? Um, I'm going to put something on each of these doodars, but... And I, I don't know how I'm going to go because I'm just fluffing around. Like I'm 20 minutes in and I've done next to nothing. Wow. If I were to say that. Yeah. And we can't hang anything over the sides. Because otherwise it won't close. So let's... Um, inside... Yep, yeah, I need to decorate the inside of one of them as well. So I'm going to put this bowy thing on this one here. Let's put that on foam. Oh, let's ink it first. Oh, it is with the sponge tool. This collection looks really good with just the tiniest touch of brown edging ink. It just gives it that, like, like a little bit more shape. Just really has beautiful dimension, this collection. Traditional Christmas colour, they look great. Quentin loves Christmas paper. You don't. So you don't share my passion for Christmas. 
I love Christmas, but I'm going to say quite a few years ago, about 12 years ago, I did lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of Christmas workshops one Christmas. We made letter to Santa tins and I had, you know, you name it, we did it. Um, I think I might have christmas myself out. I just really struggle to do too many Christmas projects because I, I kind of over christmas it once and that's what I don't know. You just need more rumbles. I just, I do like making rumbles. I don't drink alcohol normally, but I will make rumbles and eat them. Just so you know. So let's put a bit of doodah there. And let's... So I've just put up a link for the tart and piece of paper that you have got at the back of this. Mm, I do like it. I, I have to admit that I am enjoying Christmas projects already this year. I am loving this year's Christmas offering, just so you know. But I think it could be too. Some years we, we end up starting to get Christmas product, like Kay's a Christmas product, in July. And we this end year's up, all running late, which is great. We end up with just too much Christmas product some years. And then some years it's nice, but it's too different and it's just too hard to sell that much Christmas product. Although last year I loved making my snow globe with scrap twist. I'm going to put a star cookie there. That's a cookie. I was going to ask for off the page Christmas projects. Oh, uh, Naomi, Naomi John and I have been talking about doing as psychotic as it is Maybe we'll hang a little, let's hang a little um, birdie chook in here. Uh, that's what Millie used to call birds and chooks, birdie chookens. Um, about doing a series of Christmas gift ideas. See, Cheryl's with me, she loves Christmas papers. Yeah. But Quentin gets pretty picky about Christmas papers. I just like. didn't enjoy some of the ones the other years with our meat and peach. He doesn't, so he's not going to like one of my sets of colour cuts I'm designing. <laughs> no, you can't do a peach Christmas. I do have a whole heap of Christmas colour cuts that I'm working on, like products, cutouts and flare buttons and things. So I'm going to put the little, because I've got to use these things now that I've cut the damn things. And I'm going to have him sort of sit in there. So what I did when I cut the string is I cut just on either side and it's got the tiniest bit of white. And you know I forgot to ink that. Bugger. Let's pull that out. Let's just ink that. So we've got, sorry, um, Mary saying, I agree. Christmas things came out so early these days and it's over the top. Um, Mary's put, yes please, Christmas gift ideas. Yeah, so Naomi, John and I have been talking about doing something in, you know, and some quick things that you, you make, you know, when you find out the day before Christmas or a couple of days before that you've got relatives coming. Um, and you just want to bash together something quick and easy and, yeah. So there you go. But then it becomes a resource. So all of these videos are an absolute resource for you to use next year. Michelle loves Christmas papers and Ree loves anything Christmas. I just think some of the years, yeah. And I used to make, so um, I used to make, say, 80 or 100. Well, actually, one year I made like 150 of identical Christmas cards. Um, corporate ones for Quentin so he gave them to all the other managers and then he gave them to all of his staff and it was like yep yeah. a lot of Christmas cards a lot of Christmas cards and we have a Santa photo every year I don't know how we're going to do that this year I might have to photoshop Milton in because he's, we're not meant to see him until Christmas now because he's not got time off um, but I have made Christmas cards before 
And my awesome husband has left them in the boot of his car. I was waiting for that. And I found them um, after Christmas. I was waiting for that. You were waiting for that? Yeah, for one year. <laughs> you did it more than once. So one year I did this autumn awesome photo shoot and I dressed Milton up as Joseph and Naomi up as Mary and our little baby cherub Noah was baby Jesus. It was just with like tea towels and you know. I remember this. And I made these beautiful cards with this beautiful photo on the front and... At the end of January, when we're cleaning out the boot of Quentin's car, I found all the Christmas cards. You didn't find all of them, it was just some I didn't get them. So he didn't post any and he didn't hand deliver any. <laughs> so we didn't home deliver any of the ones in Gladstone and he didn't post any. Gee, I'm up on a hole in here. Yeah. I don't want to look at your comments. Not happy jam. Okay, so let's go through. Let's go through the comments. So eh? Robin has, I have started the pages for my photo of my dog. Oh, cool. cool. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, I think you're using the clock, aren't you, Robin? Yes. No, that was for Timmy. Oh, no, that's Timmy. Yep. That's your uncle. Yep. Jacqueline said, I can't get into Christmas yet, though I've made some cards already. Yep. I do a few Christmas pages and I do make Christmas I do a lot of Christmas card classes normally in store but yeah, yeah. so Marie said that she tends to stick with traditional Christmas pages mm, I, I do have a box of traditional Christmas stuff and graphic 45 I have a lot of graphic 45 Christmas and Sherry saying oops to me but my boys have all done that at one time Although it was their school bag, not the boot of their car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. And Marie's boy Robbie was Jesus in a play at school. Yep. Jack was just saying, oh no. And Faye Marie told me you had one job to do, Quentin. You had one job, Quentin. One, one job. job. Okay. I'm going to show you how to make a gift. And Debbie's got to go. She's got grandkids to go trick or treating with. So we're going to start with a four inch by four inch square. I've got a new match strip for my trimmer. A four inch by four inch square, right? So we're going to make a gift box. Is that on a car? I'm just using car. So this is if you want to use it in the middle. I really don't know how we're going to get this whole thing done, but. I will get as much as I can done on this. Um, right. So then we're going to come in that half an inch and then across another inch and another inch and another inch. I'm going to do that on the other side. A half an inch and then in an inch an inch and an inch right if you don't have a school board just you know fake it rightio so what's gonna happen is we're gonna make a box so essentially this is going to be our box and this is going to be our box right so obviously these bits are superfluous So we're going to come in and we're going to cut through diagonally through our little tiny square and then one of our one inch squares. So a little tiny square and then one of our one inch squares. Let's 
sign here, little tiny square and a one inch square. Little tiny square and a one inch square. So Deborah's thinking of attempting a thin style box to hold a piece of fruitcake for her elderly clients. Oh, that's a really cool idea. So then when we fold all these triangles in, we do get a box, right? But we get a crap fest in the middle, right? But we need these, we need these ones here, these side flaps. So what we need to do is remove this little strip on the side. So keep the very outer little rectangle on each of your, across your T intersection, but remove the little triangle and the little rectangle on the side. There you go. So we're not making a new style Star Wars, you know, X-Wing. We are making, and if you know what that means, you have got some sort of sci-fi addict in your house like we have. Uh, just so you know, we are a Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek family. Um, and only DC if it is Wonder Woman, Superman, or Aquaman. What's that? Platinum. Yeah. yeah, it's different to the other silver. Sometimes we'll watch Batman, but not all the Batmans. Mm -hmm. Batman's a bit dark sometimes. I like Aquaman. Who likes Aquaman? I like Aquaman for different reasons. <laughs> like, who likes like Aquaman? Aquaman? He just likes saying Aquaman. Okay, so what you can actually do is. If you got one of them little tiny staplers, you could <coughs> staple these little flappy bits together, right? But we're not going to do that. We're just going to put a little bit of glue, do do do, bit of glue, and we're going to spread it with a nozzle. Uh, so we have had from the manufacturer that makes the applicator bottles. We have had a bag of them. Come in a box. Come in a damn bag. Did arrive but the bag was split so the bag is currently um, still quarantining because we all know where they're made um, Quentin actually tried to get a Queensland bottle manufacturer to make these for us they would make everything except for source the little metal nozzle at the end they wouldn't put, the needle tips. They wouldn't put those tips in even if we got them made somewhere else so, not happy, Jan. Yeah. We'll keep working on it, but anyway. we do buy other things from that bottle manufacturer for another, um, for the art side of our business, we buy um, bottles from them. Right, yeah, so I'm sticking my little triangle pairs together. And then what I'm doing is when I'm sticking them together, I'm getting like my pokey tool or a pin and I'm just sliding the excess glue out of this crease so it doesn't look bad. Do you know what I mean? Well, so it looks more folded boxiness. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't look glued up. It looks like it's a it's a special little folded box. I'm not following why Sherry watches Aquaman. She said she doesn't watch it because of the story. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think your early is going to be over early looking at the news. Okay. What's the matter? That might have to do with the election. Go and ask Noah. What a pain in the butt to make this little box, says Ronnie. So I'm showing you the little box. Yeah. And you could choose to make the little box or go bugger it, I'm not making that. Yeah, I thought the election was going to be over early. Is it over? All over Red Rover? 
So I'm just going to sort of snip the little points off my triangle pairs, which is easy to do afterwards. So you can snip your little points off your triangle pairs when you get to this point. Okay, so let's... So you could make a little box and stick these little triangle pairs um, down flat. You could make it so you could put something in it. Be really cute with a ring in it or, you know, like if you were giving or a couple of coins. Like you could fill it with coins or um, you could all make me one and send me diamond rings. Not because um, I wouldn't wear them. Um, but we're just I'm just going to make mine so that it's a um, embellishment. So then what I'm going to do is I've got my little box. And you could do your ends of your little box, you know, the proper little box way. But, no. Not doing that. So let's put a bit of glue here and here. And here and here. Let's put a little bit there so it sticks to our little tabby bits. A little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. Come on, glue. So, if you so choose to make little box, it didn't take me long, but it is fiddly and finicky. And yes, I am wiping the glue on my jeans. So this is going to be underneath, so I'm just going to snip these little corners so you can't see them. Can't see it, it ain't there. But I do like to have these little tabs on the bottom because they help my box have a bit of um, robustness when said recipient goes, oh, look, it's a little box. Does it come off? So we're going to embellish our little box. What are we going to stick on the little box? The election says that the ALP's got 37 seats and the LNP's got 14. Well, there you go. I'm not going to comment. I will buy a little box, says Bronnie. You're going to buy a little box, eh, Bronnie? lady in the store today that won a little bumblebee embellishment so I told her how to make them and she was like mm, I don't think I want to make them. That wasn't Sharon was it? No it wasn't Sharon. I wouldn't have suggested Sharon make them. I would have had to make them for Sharon. Hello Sharon if you're watching. Okay so this is not straight. I've just realized this is like one of my hack jobs and I'm just gonna trim this to like mm, half an inch and I'm not going to do it with that trimmer. I'm just going to trim a little strip that's just under half an inch wide without snipping my fingers. Look at that magic. I'm going to ink my little box. Jacqueline's put you need a bow on the box. Yeah. I do need a bow. I'm just giving my box a little bit of a the inky treatment. So the one thing you forget to ink on a project is a thing that stands out like dog watsies. Do not make me explain what that is. I know exactly who's going to say, can you explain that? You are funny people. You like to put me to the test. Okay. So we are paper crafters and we have this magic stuff called double sided tape. We made an awful big mess. And double sided tape means I've got a little bit of leeway when I wrap my box. Right. 
with a bow. I've got a bit of twine. Okay, so let's cut a bit of twine about 30 centimeters or 12 inches long. And then let's What's the matter? I'm crying with something. What do you mean? I bet your dog watches. Okay, so I've got my twine doubled. I'm trying to work out how I want to do it. I don't want to do it this way. And I probably don't have enough twine. This is that dupe twine stuff we sell. Quint was so proud when he got in the online store and he goes, and it's just going to sit there because people are not going to buy that stuff. People do not buy that kind of thing. And when you all started buying it in five and ten metre lots, I didn't say I told you so. I just looked at him and he knew. Well, Elizabeth says, have you seen that Tim Holtz has released a paper guillotine that when it cuts the paper, it looks torn or dappled. He calls it, he calls it, say, so not impressed. Yeah. Is it meant to look torn or is it just a blunt wave? But why? Wouldn't you just rip it on a ruler? Yeah. Oh, no, if you want not. one, I'll get one for you, but. Mm, I don't know, I'll try and talk you out of it, people. I don't think you need to spend your money on that. Okay, so I'm going to not have this as a bow. There we go. It's a knot. Okay. I made my loop too big. We're going to sit it in our little pile of crumbs. It's meant to look torn. Yeah, you a ruler. Okay, I've got a disc of wood that was on the pattern. Um, this was off number eight. Because a lot of my bits came from number eight and number four. So the little hanging bird and the cookies came from number four. And the disc and the um, tree came from number eight. The bow came from number four. That's the big wreath paper. You know how you're meant to cut it up and make a wreath? And you know, we might put a... Maybe we won't. Uh, I'm just trying something, people. Sorry, I'm just... What's the matter? What are you laughing at, Redshaw? It was just put, no thanks, what a waste of time and an idea. And then Jacqueline's put, he doesn't want to break his nails, ripping paper, ha ha. His hands us are insured, ha ha. He has beautiful hands. <laughs> he really does, like. I'm just putting an ornament in there, because I think it'll look good. Tim does have lovely hands. We used to have rulers for that, yeah, with decorative edges. Yeah, just get your ruler and whack it on the desk a few times. Um, but I did a class. Remember I did a class on a Sunday night and I'd left my trimmer at work? And I did the whole class just with a ruler. Sorry, I just added These a bit of... These got lemons. Must be... A Polish thing, lemon slices at Christmas. Oh, it's kind of, it's it's very Scandinavian. I know. Yeah, okay. And then, okay, so I've got one more thing to make for my little thing. My box. I just need to make a tag. So I'm just rough cutting a rectangle. Deb says she remembered your class and yet it was great. Yeah, see, 
if you really want one of those trimmers, I'll get you one, but I, I will try and talk you out of it, like I say. Mary said if your trimmer blades are blunt, it's a built-in torn effect. Look, if you own a Kaiser Craft trimmer, put your old bat in. I will give you an alternative. Here's <laughs> a dead Kaiser mat. My wrecked mat strip. Gives you a torn look. Mm, you did. You know, we could sell those for a lot of money. We are not selling those. We got lots of trimmers that need new mat strips. We got trimmers that have got no mat strips. I'm just gonna write love on my tag. Okay, so I'm a little heart cookie. Closest anyone's gonna get to me making Christmas cookies, because you know what happens? Christmas cookies don't make it for Christmas. The rumbles barely made it for Christmas, but only because I made them like the night before. We'll put a little bit of foam behind our little tag. Yes, we do apologise, Tim Holtz, if you're watching this class. Please don't sue Very us. Very sorry, don't sue us. But I'm sure it is a wonderful tool, but... Jacqueline saying that gift box is gift box is so cute. Just make a little hole. We'll draw a little hole and make it fake a bit of string there that we've got it tied on. There we go. Remember, we didn't have a little bird stamp, so we drawed little birds on a class quite some time ago. Get your pencils out, Neely. Get your pencils out. Neely's not here. I should actually hide my special pens while Neely's having a sleepover at grandparents. That would be the smart mum thing to do. Well, Neely and want to know why there was kids walking around the street with buckets of lollies. Yep. So... It was even Halloween on the guy with the Savo. There's no way I was watching that. Well, I wasn't watching the news. Okay. I do try and watch something when I fussy cut. So I'm going to hide the little um, hole in my wooden disc there. And then I'm going to use 450. Let me get this stuff out. On the bottom of my gift. And it should hold it there. It should kid proof it and busybody proof this thing this goes on display in the shop this little guy will get ripped off where'd i put that make sure we don't go outside this because remember this middle bit's a backstop put it on an angle don't scooch it down so much that glue comes out there we go How's that look? Oh, that's cute. And the bow's upside down when we look at it, but that's okay. Sherry's girlfriend hides the rumbles in the freezer. Unfortunately, that wouldn't work for us because Noah actually has spoons stashed in the deep freeze <laughs> for the, when he sneaks off to the deep freeze. Our deep freeze cream. actually has a supply of spoons in it. Yes. And um, Deborah said, I was fussy cutting today watching your YouTube channel. Cool. So when Ro was in the store yesterday and we were, we were, we were discussing how to, so I'm trying to work out and I'm open to suggestions, right? So I'm working out how to make and probably be using it, doing it on like our scrapbook fantasies blog or my personal blog, which I haven't posted on since August, 2019, because I've just been too busy doing stuff on all the scrapbook fantasies pages. Um, and making product actually. So I um, want to have the videos and the pictures of the classes and the templates and all of that as a um, searchable resource. 
So you can go, okay, I've just bought Loveland paper from Scrap Boys, or I've got this Loveland languishing in my stash. I want to find all the things that I can do with Loveland. So, yeah, I know how kind of to do it. Um, it's going to take a bit of tweaking once I get it going. It's going to be a lot of work because I'm sort of coming a bit late, you know, a couple of hundred classes down the track into the game. Um, and having taught scrapbooking for over 18 years, I do have lots and lots and lots of pictures of ideas. Not everything I've ever made, but lots of things you could do. We have cubs full of little past creations. Yeah, I have lots of classes. I've done lots and lots and lots of things. And I have lots of past classes from earlier this year and last year that I've got kits that I could actually put instructions with and we'll yeah. We've got tubs and tubs of kits. Just need a bit of time. When Amy John gets home, it'll be all kaza, oh kaza. So on the inside of these little doors, so that's how I would embellish these things, these sections. I've still got two to go. I don't know if we'll get there tonight because we're what? We're not 19 minutes in. What's the time? 7.52, dear. Right. So it's about to go 9 p.m. Down set. So we're an hour and a half in. Yes, dear. We're an hour and a half in. Holy crap. Right. Maybe I need to do a panel on this every time I do a class in the creative family group. Okay. So, because I've talked too much. I've talked too much. I need to just put a bit of brown on this flower, just so you know. It's a bit fresh looking. Oh, there you go. Faye's organised. She's making a diary of your classes week by week. <gasps> oh my God, the Faye. the papers. That's a really good idea. You and Donna would get along so well. Donna has got a really good resource. Rowena has got um, hers in, I think, OneNote. She's got a bit of a resource that she's trying to make that's searchable. But I really want to make a searchable resource so that we can go through, you can go through and you can search Loveland and it'll come up with all the Loveland or you can search Christmas project and it'll come up with all the different, and I think they're going to have to be blog posts. So Mary was talking to um, Marlene about doing it over a day. Doing what? To group and name them according to the papers. Yeah. Yeah, so it's getting to the point where Can we've we see got a, a lot side of things. View of the box, please. Yeah. Oh, I've got glues. I've got glues. Just wait a sec. says I'm a bit OCD. Yeah. Um, and, and just to have things like this week we've concentrated on vellum and we've done a week where what, what we, we've done other weeks where we've concentrated on a particular product or a pre particular thing or you know we've done star weeks and we've done um, fairies one week. Um, so just yeah I just want to yeah, I just need to get my butt into gear and just do it. Don't I? Look at that. Just a problem with all the other things. We just gotta do it. Just gotta do it. Oh, I haven't inked this. See, now, dogs watsies. This panel here, this one, hasn't been inked. It was bugging me, but I don't know why. Okay, so inside, I thought you could either write little messages or you could like cut pieces and they would be like an inch and a half by, so they would be an inch and a half by three, I'll just show you. So an inch and a half by three inches right and you could have little them as little pockets but when you make the pocket you actually put the thing in the pocket that's going to stick on there so you could put a gift card under each of these i'd accept that um so when you make these little pockets you um 
stick the three sides, but you make sure that you have the thing that's going in it, in it, and it doesn't encroach out the top when you stick this on so that then you have the stretch. Otherwise, when you stick something in it, it's actually going to rip it off. And it'll be ripped off Ross. Um, I thought little... I'm going to go through the ideas. Little straight photo mats, not little crooked cut out of the middle because that's out of the middle of this guy. Um, little matted photos and then have little captions. So you could do like, you know, all the Christmases past. Um, or you could do it and leave space for the parents to put photos of baby's first Christmas. Um, so when it goes together, you can make more 3D stuff to go in there, honestly. Or you could buy little Christmas ornaments or something. You could put an ornament inside it. Okay, so Meredith's got a question. Yeah. So I know how to do it on a PC, but I'm not sure how to do it on an iPad. So Meredith's on an iPad. And she wants to know how when she pauses the movie, does she do a screenshot so then she can save that to see. So when, she, when you're near the end, she can save that picture. So when you want to do a screenshot, you do the top volume and the off button. And you do... Ta-da! So, top volume and off button, screenshot, and there's your screenshot. Don't touch it because it'll want you to edit it. Is that, is that right? Does that help? I do the same on my phone. It's a good way to capture evidence of your children making faces at you when you're on um, phone calls, is to... Um, screenshot them <laughs> facetiming you so on the sides what i wanted to do was make little same thing with a bit of gauze you know to soften up the the you know the thing and do a bit of a little house and a little um little scenes and things and if you wanted to take your little houses the next step, you could get moulding paste. This is light moulding paste, but you could get any moulding paste. You don't need that snow crap. Sorry. You don't need to buy the snow stuff that people sell. You just need something and some paste that's white, not clear paste some white paste and then so this is how you do the snow on things so just molding paste you it's just molding paste so any molding paste that's white something that dries white and then what you could do is you could sprinkle a little bit of clear glitter on that if you really wanted to um if you didn't have that you could use where did my white paint go? Buy some more than white mark stuff, right? You could do in a pinch white gesso or white paint and do really super thick globby bits like that and then leave it to dry and then do more super thick globby bits or sneaky trick show you a sneaky trick and I'm getting white paint everywhere here there's my wife oh sorry that a gold moldy paste says it's semi-opaque so it's not white is it it's white enough it's white enough so then what you can do so anything acrylic when you let's move that out of the way when you heat it I'm burning my fingers already. When you heat it, because acrylic is plastic, remember? So it's bubbling up. So when you heat it, don't go too far, it puffs up and it will pop and it gives you more of a dimensional 
So with the Montmartre cool. um, white acrylic paint desert. Oh yeah, definitely. So and that's then, only two bucks a chip. I'll put a link up. For yep, it. yep, yep, yep. White paint will do that. And then your paste will. So you can buy puff paint stuff. Paste is puff paint. It's acrylic. When you heat it, it puffs. <laughs> Sorry. What about um, the Color Blast heavy, heavy white gesso? Was that yep. Right? Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Just giving you guys some options. Yeah, and you've probably got some stuff in your stash that you can... Let's Look at see. that. It's puffed up. Oh, we're still wet underneath. Whoopsie. My bad. But yeah, don't poke it when it's still wet. It puffs it up, but it doesn't necessarily dry it. Okay. Oh, don't forget your squirrels. You know, swirly things when you come along to do. And this is the piece of vellum that I went back and forwards, and it's sort of double sliced it. So don't go back and forth with vellum. Only run it through once through your die cut machine. Um, Mary, mm. did that answer your question earlier with the iPad? Sorry, I just want to make sure. Was that was that the, was that the right? Cool, great tips, thank you. Okay, cool. So um, the other thing I was going to do. Oh crap! I've got glitter glue inside this. No, it's all cool. I got glitter glue on there. The other thing I was going to do with this. And I will keep going with this thing, or hopefully, you might have to kick my butt to get me to finish it. Is on the. Because I've got to add some little roses in places too. On the um, candle is to put a little bit of, and I'm back to the icicle stuff, put a little bit of glitter glue and just smear it. On the flame and just smear it out. Oh, so when Meredith tries it on the iPad, she's wanting to turn the iPad off. No, no, you got to do it at exactly the same time. It's got to be like, do you know what I mean? Like they've got to be synchronized. If your iPad has the circly dot at the bottom, it could be the circly dot. You know the the impression and and the off button together but it's got to be you know like chick chick not one then the other it's together does that make sense so a little bit of glitter glue on those i thought would be really cool and you could do where's the dimension magic see all these berries here and on the side in the design see the berries in the design And you would do it before this point but to put a little bit of I'm gonna do it up high so you can see a little tiny bit of don't you hate that a little tiny ball of like a little ball of dimensional magic on each berry so that the berries and just a little tiny drop on all these ones and then they become little uh, glassy berries. Does that make sense? Oops, she's got the circle button and that works. Thank you. Woohoo! I will admit, I've been, we've done so much that I've really struggled with kind of keeping up with myself. Does that make sense? Like, We've done so many classes and so many things that I really, I really truly have struggled to keep up with myself. Okay, so in here I would, you could put photos, pockets, um, little messages, you could leave, you could put like just little photo mats, like little square photo mats, a little rectangular ones so that people could put their Christmas photos in there as a bit of a memory. Or a pocket with a little flip book in or flippy up things um, you could do all sorts but it is a bit of a yes Jean you can pick one up on Monday yeah 
We made doubly the amount of flare buttons we needed, so those little bird flare buttons will be sold individually. So I'm just gonna probably put a little rose there too. Um, so thank um, you very much. I know we didn't get it fully embellished, but I'm hoping I gave you enough ideas to get it done. And I will definitely be sharing photos of my project. Um, I've got glitter glue that's wet, so that was a really dumb thing, silly thing to do, because it's really hard to embellish here when I've got wet stuff here and I've found stuff that I haven't inked last week so thank you very much and take care I might do a video in the group tomorrow of the new stuff thank you bye take care love you all